I simulated a hardcore zombie apocalypse on my Minecraft server. Whoever is left alive and escapes the city in seven real life days wins. The thing is though, every single day, the virus evolves, the zombies become faster, stronger, break blocks, and on the seventh day, the server will switch to hardcore. If anyone dies between now and then, they lose one heart of maximum health. If you lose all your hearts, well, you know what? It's time, time to stop playing Minecraft because uh, you're gone. But it's not only the zombies you need to fear. No, it's the living. PvP is enabled, so anyone can be a friend or an enemy. And if they kill you, they gain one of your hearts. Take a look at this map that we're playing on. It is absolutely incredible. It was built by Bobtar12 and a bunch of others. I got a link to it in the description. It's, it's perfect for this. Lastly, make sure you subscribe because the next time we do something like this, I'm bringing a subscriber. This time I brought, I brought Ryan, right? In this apocalyptic simulation, what's gonna happen? Because I'm telling you right now, I'm not letting anyone get out of this city alive. So I spawned in the Nuke City, just outside of this absolutely beautiful mansion. The only problem was, was that uh, I didn't know what the food situation was going to be like here. I didn't know if I was going to be able to find animals and how difficult it was going to be to find actual food. So I didn't want to sprint on my first day and drain my hunger bar, especially considering that zombies don't spawn for the first in-game day. I, I didn't want to go wasting hunger. So I walked up the stairs to the mansion and uh, I went in. Oh, look at all these little heads. Heads. Oh, clean up when you're done. No way. Please remember to put Cassie. I gotta find weapons. These are, these are the showers. There's gonna be nothing here. Oh, look at that. Looting too. Heather falling. Going for swimming in the pool. Oh, there's got to be food here. Cobwebs. Where's all the food? Okay, okay. Oh! Morphine? Cobble. I have so many potions. No, oh, wait, this isn't food. This is like a hospital. If there's a hospital, there's gotta be an armory. Look at all this. This place is gonna be loaded with zombies tomorrow. Oh, it's a gym! I can lift those up. Okay, I don't. I don't need a gym. I need a machine gun. I was a man with two things on the mind: uh, food and weapons. So as I walked around the mansion, I was hoping to find either a kitchen or uh, some sort of panic room where there'd be some heavy weapons in there. You know, you always find something like that in a giant mansion like this. Uh, but I didn't find either. Uh, what I did find though was some sort of infirmary. Uh, where I got a lot of potions, you know, like health potions. Like, you know, sort of like, uh, yeah, I don't know, this stuff's good. And then I found a pool, which had blaze rods that were labeled as pool noodles. And you know what? They might be called pool noodles, but I will certainly be using these as blaze rods. So uh, that was good. I also got some leather armor that presumably made me swim faster. See, on this map, hidden in some of the buildings, there's custom items, which normally give you some sort of bonus effect. Uh, sometimes it makes you run faster, sometimes it makes you, yeah, in this case, swim faster, jump high. There's a bunch of custom armor, and I didn't know it at the time, but this sort of stuff was going to be key to surviving. Outside of the mansion, there was you know, there some tanks. I don't know what was going on with this mansion. Well, there's heavy tanks out there. Uh, but So I just started pressing buttons in some of them. Look at this thing. Back right lever, rocket pods, central lever, engine. There's arrows! Look how many arrows I just shot out. I can't see it. I thought about making the mansion my main base, but I don't want to live here. 
It's way too big. People could sneak in. I, I don't know. So I left the mansion and started exploring the nearby neighborhood. Night was falling and, uh, well, I heard my first zombie. I'm, sc I'm legitimately scared right now. Last time I was the first to die. I don't want to be the first to die again. Here they come. I just heard the first zombie. Somehow we all agreed to sleep through the first night. Normally someone's mining or doing something. I can't, I can't. You guys gotta just survive. We all slept, which was nice. But in the morning when I came out of the house, I saw my first zombie. Oh, here we go. They're slow now. Look, look how slow this guy is. <laughs> Head with the pool in this neighborhood, it was so much bigger than I thought. This place was absolutely massive, and to be quite honest, I felt a little bit overwhelmed. The smart thing would have been to check every single house and methodically go through all the rooms and try to get as much loot as possible. Uh, that, that's not what I did. What I did was I, I saw a giant factory in the distance and ran straight for it. And when I got there, I found out that it was a uranium factory. Hey, that, that must be nice, you know, living right next to a uranium factory. That's yeah, good. Atlas Uranium Inc. Okay. Behind the factory was a mine where they would presumably mine the uranium. Uh, so I went in there, and the first chest that I found had a hard hat in it. So I grabbed that. And then, like before, uh, I found some heavy machinery and uh, just started uh, pressing buttons. Whoa. Oh. Oh, it's doing a ton of. Turn it off. Turn it off. Oh, perfect. Okay. Like, listen to it down there. The mines are loaded with zombies. And I don't even have a pickaxe. There's gotta be a pickaxe around here. Hey, this video is sponsored by Honkai Impact, third version 6.0, which includes new characters, the second phase of the summer event, and a major update for the main chapter. All right, you got a lot of good stuff in this one, right? You got Eliza, the uh, human ego. Wonderful, right? You can see Eliza marks off an area, then transforms into a mermaid. She can summon the spirit of origin that leaps from the icy surface, dealing damage to the enemies. Look, look, pretty good. Some good moves right there. And you know what? That's not all. There's new outfits, too. There'll be two more of summer outfits in version 6.0. Captains can swap crystals for special items, which can be enchanted for starry impressions. Oh, what's going on here? Look at this. There's some dolphins painted and dolphins and waves painted on Mr. Knight's armor. A lot of good stuff here. All right, so you know what you gotta do? You gotta go download Honkai Impact immediately, all right? Go download this game right now. I'll tell you right now, you will you will regret it if you do not download this. And redeem gift code 60AHD. Uh, it's on the screen right now, okay? And you get 30 crystals, 2,888 asteroids. And, you know, I'm not done yet, the Hersher's trial card for free. Okay, you know what? You gotta download a game like this. Use the code in the description don't forget don't forget again don't you gotta do it honkai impact it's, it's good stuff okay there was absolutely no way it was going down there yet so uh, i kept looking around and i found this little trailer and i went in and uh, you know i thought this seems like a decent place to just kind of hold out in for a little while there's walls around the mine there's i mean, I mean you know, a couple zombies down there probably probably a lot of zombies if i'm being honest uh, but it seems relatively safe seems like a place that i could secure and uh, make work also, yeah, I kind of like the idea of living in a uranium mine. Radioactive. So from there, I started doing the regular Minecraft stuff, like getting wood and then getting stone and all that stuff. Once I had that, though, I went and got coal. And then I went further down into the mine since I now had torches. I found a chest, which had a bunch of... It had more uranium in it. I thought this was actually uranium somehow in the game, so I took it, thinking that I could somehow give some other players uh, radiation poisoning. But uh, turns out this was just... It was just kelp. So, uh, yeah, not, not quite what I thought it was. Speaking of radiation, there is supposed to be a script on this map that would give players uh, radiation poisoning depending where they were on the map and what they were interacting with. I have no doubt in my mind that where I was standing right now would have normally killed me if we were playing this on the correct version of Minecraft. Uh, thankfully, we weren't. I was a man who was very much alive, alive and happy. Uh, so as I explored the mines, though, I, I got some iron, which was good to have, because, I mean, it's iron, I'm gonna need it. I also found this hidden area, and I dug into it, and there was, you know, kind of skulls on the ground. Kind of a little bit spooky. But there was also a bunch of TNT, which, you know what? A man never says no to TNT. You take that, you put it in your pocket, and you say thank you. Uh, when I came out of the mine, though, look, look how good this looked. 
I was really liking this area. It just seemed I could set up a farm down here. I can wall it all. It was this was gonna be the spot for me. I was thinking. So then I searched the second mine, and I just got some more basic resources. I killed some zombies, came out, and got some light set up. Uh, then I tried to get some stone, and uh, just an absolute tidal wave of zombies spawned. So I had to run towards the trailer. Oh! Oh! I cooked all my iron and uh, I made some armor and, you know, I felt like I was doing pretty good. And I couldn't help but wonder uh, how everyone else was doing, if they were surviving, if they were, if they were almost done, what was going on for them. And if you're curious too, uh, make sure you go watch their videos after this one. I got a link to everyone's video in the description and uh, you know what, I'm going to be doing that. It's interesting. Next, I wanted to know the factory. I had, I had not walked in there yet, so maybe there was something cool in there, maybe there was something I could find. Uh, so I went in. Uh, the bottom floor was incredibly dark. Uh, there was like conveyor belts everywhere, there was very little light, one side of it had a giant water tank, which I assume was for- it doesn't matter. So I, I went upstairs and I found a chest which had an item called Overseer's Glasses, which had thorns too on them. Sometimes it tells you what the effect is, sometimes you just gotta figure out what it is by using them, so I, I, was, good, I was happy to take this. I kept looking around and I found the break room, uh, which had a kitchen connected to it, uh, and in one of the chests I f thankfully found some food. Milk. Oh, cookie milk and cookies! Food in this game is life or death. You can't just... It's not as easy to get in a giant city. I absolutely did not want to spend this entire playthrough like a, a raccoon scavenging for scraps of food in, in dumpsters and stuff. There was no pigs and cows just wandering the streets. I didn't see any chickens. So it was obvious that I was going to need to set up a farm. But I figured that I would do that later. Which was a bit of a mistake. Instead, I just kept looking around the factory, and before I knew it, night had fallen, and, uh, this place... Ooh, it was starting to fill up with zombies fast. Remember when I said that this map was, uh, supposed to have command blocks that would add radiation? Well, here's me jumping into, uh, the cooling chamber of some sort of nuclear process here. So, uh, and needless to say, I'm glad it wasn't working, because I would be one dead man right now. One dead, dead man. Once I got out of the factory, though, I still had to make it home. Oh my god. Oh! 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 Oh, there's so many of them! Okay. Oh! Look at this! Oh! At the time, I thought this was a lot of zombies. I had no idea what was going to happen later in this video. But for now, I was just trapped in this trailer, totally surrounded by zombies. So I sat there all night, just waiting for them to leave. And you know what? Uh, they did not. They did not leave at all. They kind of kept me trapped there. Okay, the sun's coming up. Please, let a man leave this trailer. This is... This is absolutely buck nutty here. Look at this. I gotta make this whole mine safe. I got torches. I, I, but the thing is, I don't even know if they're gonna work. I realized the best chance I had at getting out of that trailer was to break through the ceiling, uh, climb up onto the filing cabinets, and jump off the trailer onto the wall, and then down into the suburbs. Which led me to this house, which uh, had a sign out front that it had been looted by bandits. So I didn't expect to find anything useful inside, but regardless, I still went in and looked around. And sure enough, I... I didn't find anything, so I just kept going. Eventually, I made my way to a place called the Glowing Tavern. Um, I mean, I mean, it's a, I guess it's a good name, considering where it is. Oh! Modern. Oh! Modern day brew. Slowness, mining fatigue, strength. Margarita. Ooh. Oh. Red wine. Nausea. 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 Where's that margarita? Let's drink this. Oh, okay. Poison. Nausea. Okay. Okay. Oh, okay. Oh. <laughs> Man, is that a couple drinks? Cider. 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 Oh. Oh, saturation. Okay. Oh, saturation too. All right, what's going on? We got any food back here? It's all 
beers. Where's your meat? After uh, uh, you know that, I explored a car dealership. At this point, I didn't really know what I was looking for. I was just trying to find anything I could that might be useful because this early in the game, it was all about just stacking up resources and avoiding players. PvP is enabled immediately, so if you see someone else, you can kill them right away. And that's when I saw a name tag not too far away. Wait. A shadow. He crouched too. He's right there. Oh, there he is. Hello! Hello, hello, hello! Hello? Who's there? Uh, Shadow. Oh, hey! What's going on? How much are you? Uh, I'm not too bad. Oh, 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 oh! I just gotta take care of this zombie. Are you friendly? Yep. Okay, I'm friendly too. Oh, oh yeah. Just trying to pick a place. Uh, Chill, I guess. Yeah. I can't find the stairway here, though. Whoa! Oh. You see all this stuff in here? Oh, yeah, I'm full, though. Yeah, I am too. Do you have food? I do. What have you been doing for food? Uh, I guess I got popcorn and MRE crackers. Oh, very nice. I got Dr. Pepper. Uh,. Some pumpkin pie. <laughs> Dr. Pepper. Did you get one of these yet? What's that? A gas mask? No. Yeah, I got two of them. Oh, thank you. Here, I'll give you something for it. Do you want, uh... Here, Dr. Pepper. <laughs> Dr. Pepper. Oh, thank you. How's it been going for you? While I was briefly talking to Shadow, uh, I was looting the building we were in. And in one of the chests, I found something very interesting. I didn't know at the time, but that item right there, that was the most powerful item on the entire map. So take a guess at what I did. Yeah, I just kind of ignored it and moved on. Thought, you know what, I don't need whatever that is. I just left it. Oh, should have definitely should have grabbed that because you're gonna see very soon just just how powerful grenades are. You don't you do not leave something like that in a chest. That is a big mistake. Anyway, so I was talking to Shadow, and I, you know what? I can't lie. Uh, it, it crossed my mind a few times that I should kill this man, especially when he told me. You see all this stuff in here? Oh yeah, I'm full though. Yeah, I'm too. But I didn't. Instead, I gave him a full tour of where I was staying and explained to him that my plan was to lock this thing down and uh, make it my base. The zombies are so loud. Oh my god, look how many there is coming out of the mines! Look at them coming out of the mines! Oh wow. Oh my god, look at all of them! Oh, this is crazy. You sure you want to live here? Yeah, I don't know about this. <laughs> I gotta get- I gotta get- Torches down there. Oh, wow. That guy hurt. There's so many coming. At this point, it was just Shadow and I left online. But then he told me he needed to get off for a little bit, leaving me to be the only man online playing, which is not so good because it means more zombies spawn on me, but it also means that I can loot freely without having to worry about anyone killing me or getting to loot faster than me. So I wanted to use this opportunity to loot as much as I possibly could, as, as quick as I could. So I picked a random, very tall building and started climbing up the side of it. It, it was, I, I'm gonna be honest with you, I was a little bit scared doing this, thought I was gonna die climbing up the side of this tower. Be the first man to die, which I absolutely did not want, especially after what had happened on the purge. When I got most of the way up to the top, I broke my way into one of the floors and started looting stuff. I was hoping to find some food, but I couldn't any, so I opened one of the drinks that I got from uh, the glowing tavern, and uh, I'll tell you right now, probably should not have done that. Oh. Oh. I gotta find food. Oh. 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 Oh, 
zombies in here. After that, I kept climbing, and I got to the very tip top of the tower, the, t the highest point on the map. I don't know if it was, but it seemed like it was the highest point on the map. And I figured there had to be something up here. I went through all this to get up here. There had to be something good. And sure enough, in a small chest behind one of the, the desks that had been blown up, I found a piece of gear that would completely change everything I did in the game. It was a simple iron chest piece that gave me no protection. But what it did give me was incredible, making me the fastest man on the server. I'll tell you right now, when you're in a zombie apocalypse, speed is your friend. You want to be able to run away from both people and zombies. And this right here, oh, a chest piece like this makes a man, makes a man very powerful. So I was very glad to get this before anyone else. So I logged off for maybe 10 minutes. And when I got back on, look at, Shadow was right, he was there. He had logged back on and he was moments away from getting this chest for himself. Although I was friendly with Shadow, I was... You know what? I'm going to tell you right now. I was very glad that he did not get this because that would not have been good for me later on. That would have been very, very rough. So I chatted with him for a little bit and he told me that he was planning on making this his building and securing it and having it be his base. And I'm not going to lie. You know, this is a pretty good spot. Nice tall building. Easy to secure. You just make the bottom floor. I don't, you, just, you can just get zombies off one floor. I had done it in my winter zombie apocalypse video. It's a good solid move to make a building your place. It was looking like Shadow and I were going to be uh, good allies. We even we even joked uh, about killing someone. I think we should kill someone. Yeah? Yeah, I don't know who. But... I want people to fear us. You know? Oh, yeah. We I agree. We could rob someone. We could. Who's on? Anybody on? Well, no, oh, I Ryan's on. <laughs> Not right now, but I mean, like... Yeah. If, we, if he comes around here... I wasn't joking. I wanted to murder someone on the server, and I wanted to do it. I, I, I wanted someone to die very quickly. <clears throat> okay, so, um, anyway, so I, I climbed out of Shadow's Tower to go get my stuff uh, back from my trailer, and I started to feel paranoid about someone stealing my stuff, which was technically allowed just as long as you were online. So if you left your stuff unguarded and you were online, someone could take it. To solve this, I wanted to get an ender chest, but at that current moment, I did not have the resources needed to make an ender chest. So for now, what I did was I grabbed some stuff out of the chest in the trailer. I grabbed a second chest. I jumped out of the trailer. I went to a nearby backyard. Uh, I found a nice little spot next to, you know, I guess, what was their uh, back deck. I dug a hole, knowing exactly where it would be, uh, and I hid a chest there, loaded my stuff up in that chest, put some dirt over top of it, and walked away. And just truly hoped that my goldfish brain would remember where I put this later. And speaking of my goldfish brain, I still had not tackled the task of getting a renewable food source. I had spent all my time scavenging, talking to people, thinking about murdering. I needed to figure out this food situation badly. So instead of setting up a farm like I should have done, I went out scavenging again. And I figured my best bet would be to find some sort of grocery store. I should have just made a farm, but no, no. I, started, I was a hungry, hungry man wandering the streets. Here's the grocery store. This is like a convenience store. Melted ice cream. Raw pork shop, I'll take those. Ooh. Try our new... What? Intelli water. Oh, look at that. Coffee. You got no food? It's like a strip ball here. <gasps> oh! Oh! Come on. What? What? No, no, give me it. Is it fake? I need those. There's gotta be a hidden... Yes, there we go. Give me more. Exit. Right here. There's a food. Oh! <laughs> Guacamole. Oh, this is a apple. Pie. Avocado. 
Stadium Park, Stadium Park, Stadium Park, Stadium Park. I'm not going to the stadium. Oh, a little camper here. Day one. Camp is set up. Let's hope the military doesn't come by this area. That's the last thing we need to happen. Uh, it looks like they came by this area. Judging by the skulls and... I looted buildings all night, but I, I didn't find anything significant. That was... Until I found the casino. Oh! Whoa -ho -ho -ho! This might just be where I'm gonna hold out. Wait, if this is a casino... At least throw one gold nugget below. Where, where did the torch go? There were a bunch of slot machines on the bottom floor, and my first thought was... Oh, if this is a casino and there's slot machines... Yeah, there's gotta be a vault somewhere. And I didn't know what would be in it, but whatever was in there, whew, I wanted it. I wanted it more than... Yeah, I wanted it now. So I started looking around, and I couldn't find it, so I, I just went upstairs and started searching up there. Oh. I was doing an absolutely terrible job of looting these rooms, and you will see exactly why later. Missed some really good stuff here. I was just running past most of them, uh, which you, you gotta you gotta be thorough if you're playing something like this. But anyways, I ended up giving up and leaving the casino completely empty-handed, but not empty-minded. No, no, no. I took note of where that casino was, and I thought about potentially maybe making this my base because i was thinking okay you know what i'm gonna set up the casino i'm gonna have a giant hole in the floor i'm gonna call it zombie pit you want to come you want to gamble you're gonna, you're gonna land in the in the pit i was thinking about throwing sneeve in there it was it, i had a lot of ideas but not a lot of time i was kind of getting carried away so i kept looking around the city and uh, the chess pieces i was wearing was it was fantastic for getting around it made me extremely fast but the problem was was that you burn up food very quickly and i still had absolutely no food to show for what I... It's the whole reason I was out right now, looking for... I, I was being the raccoon that I wanted to avoid. I kept roaming the city until I ended up in front of a massive crater in the center of the city. And I, you know what? I guess this is why they call it the nuked city. Oh, yet again, I was very glad that uh, the radiation script was not working because I was standing on the edge of, uh, I guess, what would be ground zero. One of the, the most vicious places for nuclear fallout. I was standing right in the middle. Anyways, it wasn't working, which was good. But you know what was not working also? My brain. Because I should have been focused on food, but instead I kept thinking about the casino and how there might be some sort of vault in there. And that those slot machines, maybe they work. There were signs that said, insert gold nugget. And I thought, oh, I remember back at the mansion. There was tons of gold there. Blocks and blocks and blocks of gold. So I ran, tried to find my way back to the mansion. Eventually made it there and realized... Sean, how are you going to get one of those gold blocks off the fountain? How are you going to remove that? I tried with the stone pickaxe because I'm a complete idiot. Realized you can't do that. That does not work. Uh, so I needed iron. So my next course of action was to go to the mine where I figured, hey, you know what? I'm going to find some iron down there. I probably missed some. Got to the mine. Turns out I did not miss any iron. There was none left. And I, I guess I had wasted it. So now I just, I needed iron badly so that I could potentially rinse the casino for i was a man who was desperate to gamble basically so what does a man do when he's desperate to gamble he goes and begs other people to help him help him gamble and that's exactly what i did i ran straight over to shadow's tower i ran into a ton of zombies and noticed that because i had been running so much my chest plate uh which made me move faster was draining my hunger so now I was a, a man who was desperate to gamble, and desperate for food, and, and just- I was at the doorstep of Shadow begging for help. Shadow! Shadow! Oh god, yeah. Shadow, help me! Where are you at? I'm coming up your ladder. Okay, hold- okay. Wait, no, Quick, I got something- down the ladder. I got something for- I got something for both of you. Oh. Steve! Good evening, sir. Hey. How are we? Good to see you. Okay, guys. Yes. I've been exploring. Yeah. And I, I found something really cool. I found actually three of them. I already uh, consumed one. Uh oh. But for you guys, I like to give you both one. Okay. Compound. Ooh. Whoa. Do you drink it? You drink what does it. it do? It gives you permanent strength three. Oh. This potion that he gave us, this right here was incredibly powerful. The, the, the only thing we need to do now is just not die. Oh, 
Oh, oh my god. What? What oh happened? Oh my god. There's Where are you? Zombies. Oh, what? Sneeze! Oh no. Okay, I, I did not want to be like my man Sneeve. That man gets a potion, dies immediately after. There was no way I was being like that man. So in every other video of mine, I am that man. I am that man who gets that potion, walks outside and dies just like Sneeve. But this time, I was not going to be like that. Sneeve was now going to fill the role of what I would do. So it was good to see someone else take that position for me. Because I was feeling good. I was a man who was juiced up, ready to go. And I needed to convince these guys, okay, let's go to the casino. You guys, we will win big. You just need to give me some iron. We need, we need to get this done. And you know what? They, they agreed. So first of all, we hit up the mansion. We got a bunch of gold. Tons and tons and tons of gold. And then we went over to the casino. And oh, we, start, we started gambling. There we go. Oh! Who did it? Uh, uh, too bad. Here, I got eight. I got eight. Rob. Yo, me potato salad. Right, the only Here thing is, oh, around, little ones. oh my god. The casino is closed. Zero, zero, zero. You guys got any blocks? To the, the full horde's getting in here. Oh. Uh, uh, Black no. Friday isn't for another week. You can't be on mall property until. Until sealed up. Yep. All right. Well, hold on. They're, not... They're breaking blocks. Oh, that's one of you guys. Woohoo! Yep. <laughs> All right. Come on, baby. Come on, baby. All right. I gotta get. Oh wow! This one's broken. Yeah, you... I think you only do one at once. Hey! I, I won. Think... What'd you get? I think a golden bar. Oh. Ooh. Which is... Wow, this, is, this really is a casino. <laughs> yeah, it is. You put in 12 golden nuggets, you get one bar back. Casino always wins. Not gonna lie, I think Laguna might fight you for the spot. Yeah, he's, he's not getting it. <laughs> I'm fast, Eddie. I'm starting to think this one's not possible. Yeah. Oh! Oh, I got oh, it! Oh, I... I got it! What do you get? They still... Uh, nothing. Well, we won basically nothing. You, you you win very little doing this, and you're just at risk of getting killed. So we smashed into the vault, or at least what we thought was the vault. Turns out it was just a room with a ton of redstone and switches, that you've, an area that you very clearly were not supposed to go into. My man Sneeve, he was, I think he said something about how we got into the wires. And so we're all item wondering. hopper, item hopper, observer. You gotta be in here somewhere. I'm, I'm going down, I'm going down to the wires. <laughs> I was enjoying playing with Shadow and Sneeve. We were looting places together. We were gambling at the casino. These guys would help me when I was at my desperate, most lowest point. It was nice. It was really unfortunate what I had to do to them later. I had to, I had to do what I had to do. But for now, ooh, it's just a bunch of happy guys having fun. Having, having a lot of fun out here. We were searching through the casino, looting all the rooms. Uh, a lot of the rooms that I missed the first time that I was here. And I forgot to record it, because I'm an idiot, uh, but I found an irradiated apple, which is just as good as the grenades, to be honest. When you eat one, they're basically golden enchanted apples, and if you watch the Purge video, you'd know that eating an enchanted golden apple grants you an extra heart permanently, of course, unless you die. Uh, so these things right here, incredibly valuable, and there was multiple of them in the casino, and because I was such an idiot, the first time I looted it, I missed all of them. Thankfully, I found one, ate it, uh, and Shadow had found the other, and graciously gave it to Sneeve. You wanna hold it? Yeah, I just wanna hold it. Okay, I'll let you hold it, but make sure you give it back, okay? <laughs> yeah. You oh. son of a... <laughs> Take the heart from him. They also found this police baton, which... At first glance, it just looks like a normal stick that you'd probably ignore, but... Oh, no, 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 this is a very powerful stick. When you hit someone with it, they go flying. You... You almost made me... Holy... Holy hell, what the heck was oh that? Oh my god. What, was what that the police this? baton? Did that hurt? Yeah, that took out like four hearts. Yeah. What? Yes. No way. There was another one here somewhere. I need it. <laughs> oh, no, no, goodness. over, over there. <laughs> Hang on, eat ye this zombie. I want, I want to. There he goes. There he goes. Whoa. That's a three point. Oh, right. I was feeling good. I had an extra heart, a permanent strength buff. I had this very cool police baton, and 
You know, I was just, I was a man who felt like he was doing it. Everything was going right. Everything was going well for me. So I called it a night and logged off. I didn't know what to expect from the zombies, but I was still super fast thanks to my chess piece. So I just ran out of the casino and started looking around the city for more. I'm rewatching this footage and wow, this feels like an eternity. You guys haven't even seen the whole Robert and Kim thing. You haven't even seen what happens to Lagundo yet. You, you have no idea what's about. Things are about to get wild on the server. And, hey, people are about to start dying. A lot of them. I, on the other hand, oh, I was doing good. Feeling, feeling happy, feeling alive. Oh, you use the boats and you race around here. I don't know what I was doing here, but uh, yet again, I was hungry. I was, st I was still a man on the search for food. Definitely, f I was being that raccoon I was avoiding. Uh, luckily, I found a, this beachside restaurant. I thought, okay, this is what I'm talking about, a restaurant. There's got to be food in there. Definitely got to be food in a restaurant. Uh, however, getting inside was a bit bit of an issue because uh, there's a lot of zombies spawning. Way more than I thought. But I managed to fight my way in using my police baton just to bat away zombies and make my way to the back where I found I found a little bit of food. To be honest, I was expecting more from a restaurant, but you know what? You can take what you can get. Uh, there was also this little boat next to the restaurant, so I climbed in uh, and I slept on it, yeah, passing the night. Oh, that scared me. Not far from there, there was a yacht. A big, beautiful yacht, making this little boat look very small. Uh, and by the looks of it, because it looked like a big, fancy, rich one, uh, there's a good chance that there's going to be some good stuff on it, so I swam over. Start eluding it. And one of the first chests I found, I, I found some, I found wine. Only the Amoras could afford a mythical drink of the gods. Oh. I should have probably saved this. Okay. Th that was one of the stupidest things that I had. I should have saved that. Who just drinks something like that on the... Anyways, I thought, okay, if there, if there, if this is here, there has to be more somewhere else on the map. There, there has to be another one somewhere. So, I figured, I, as I looted, I would keep my eye open for it, and if anyone else found it, hopefully I could trade them for it before they drink. I don't know. I just wanted more of this stuff. I kept looting the ship, and there really wasn't much more for me besides these cool lights that they had below deck. I, I figured that they would be useful if I was going to find a base. I would use them to light the place up. They'd look a little bit better. I don't know. I just took them and I put them in my pocket and left. My plan was now to start heading back towards the factory uh, and just stop on my way for anything that I find that might be of interest. And I ended up on this little evac- I guess it was an evacuation island. Yacht out there? It's a smaller yacht, but it's a yacht. Engine failure. Oh, that's good. Bunks. Oh. See, this whole area looks cool. I'll, I'll loot it, then I'm going. So much to see in this map. Telepad one, incoming boat zero. Power critical, solar energy. Log, recording. No, I need, I need loot. Security items, arrows. No, I need these seeds. This island wasn't far from the factory, so I just swam back, uh, got out of the water, and it was in the shipping yard, which seemed actually kind of nice. So I climbed up this vine wall and walked across the road and entered through the back loading dock of the factory. I was sick of being hungry. At this point, I realized, you know, it's now or never. Set up a farm or you're going to die. So I wanted to do that, but the only problem was, was that I needed to pick somewhere to set up permanently, and uh, I had somewhere in mind. 
This factory? It's gonna be mine. I'm just gonna figure out how to get rid of all these. I need to get the factory lit up, sealed and, and claimed, so everyone who enters this area knows it is my factory. Do not step foot in here, otherwise I will blow you up. You will not come out alive. Uh, and then once that was taken care of, then I could then I could get the farm up. Uh, so I ran out of the factory, went outside, I got seeds, got those going. Uh, I got, got, got what I figured was enough. Uh, then I got some wood and realized that, uh, you know, if you're going to make a farm, you're going to need a hoe. So I went to the mines, I got some rocks. And they, there was a lot of zombies down there. That was a place that was swimming with zombies. Oh my, there's so many of them. Everywhere I go, there's zombies. Try to keep, this is going to be so hard when they're fast. There's so many of them. Okay. Oh, 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 okay, okay. I gotta go. After getting what I needed, I went back to the factory. And I went upstairs. Uh, there I cleared out some of the cubicles, uh, which they sat by this net. I still don't know if you need windows in Minecraft to grow crops. Like, do you, do you need natural? I, I still don't know. I figured I did. So I took down all the cubicles and I uh, set up a little farm right there. Yeah, a tiny little farm. And, so for, and then I added this nice little trim. Then I added the dirt blocks. Then some water. Uh, finally some seeds. And it was finally done. All right. Nice by the window. Next, I wanted to make sure that everyone knew this place was mine. So in the morning, I went downstairs and I cut down a ton of trees and I made some signs. And I put them up at every single entrance. Once that was done, uh, I needed to go to the docks and uh, get some water, so I decided to check that, and there was a, there was a building nearby, and I, I figured, yeah, let's see if there's anything interesting inside of it. I went in, and I went upstairs, I got a gas mask right away. I, I was thinking gas masks were going to be useful, because I, I still didn't know if this radiation thing was working or not. I mean, I should have had an idea that it wasn't, because it was standing in a, a, a uranium factory. No. Anyway, so I, I just took the gas mask just in case later on it would be useful. And I kept looking around, and in one of the offices, I found a naval uniform, which was, oh, it was a beautiful diamond chess piece. Diamond chess piece. Finding something like that was absolutely... The only problem was, was that it was nearly broken. One or two hits and this thing would have broke, so I, I didn't want to... I didn't want to wear it just yet. I needed to repair it first or something. I, I don't know, I just, just wanted to be cautious with it. I was hearing rumors about some sort of special infected. Kim had sent some messages saying that he was being chased down by a zombie that was not acting normal. And I thought that he was lying or that there might be some sort of custom spawner on the map or anything like that. Uh, but then I... I think I found one inside of here. Oh, this man was fast. Fast as he... he I, I knocked him down, though, and I ran. Because like, this place was getting swarmed. and I, So I got into the staircase, and I logged out while others slept. I came out the emergency exit, and immediately to my right, I found a chest, which uh, had another water bucket, so I could have just came here anyway. Uh, so then I ran back to the factory. I upgraded my farm, uh, and I made a little furnace. Um, more zombies were spawning in my area, which... I don't know why that was. I was putting torches down, and they were still spawning, so... That was... I was getting a little bit concerned about that and thinking, you know what, maybe I'm not going to live in the factory. Maybe I'm not going to live in a place where zombies can just randomly spawn no matter what I do. That might not be the smartest. Right now, they're easy to deal with, but in the future, oh, when these things mutate more, who I just don't want that at all. That, was, that would be a huge problem. So, but for now, it seemed fine. So I went back to the dock, I looked around a little bit more, and I found, I found some rat bones in a house, which is actually, considering skeletons don't naturally spawn, finding bones was yeah, kind of a rare item. After that, I climbed into a boat uh, and found some special fishing rod, uh, which is ooh, good to have something like that. Then I activated the flares on the boat. Okay. Look at that. The next morning, I woke up on the boat. Things were, it seemed like it was going to be a regular day, and uh, no more, no trouble or anything like that. I was very wrong, because Kim was about to do something that would, uh, that would change everything. 
He killed Robert. Kim. Kim of unsorted guy. Of all people. Drew the first blood. And all he had to say was, I'm sorry, I trust no one this time. Let this be a warning to everyone. Unsorted Norwegian Kim killed the first man on this server. And this piqued my interest because how did Kim kill Robert? Th that doesn't normally... He must have had something good. Some sort of special item that I hadn't found yet. And whatever it was, if it was able, if, if Kim was able to use it to kill Robert, I wanted it. I wanted to take it from Kim. So I tried to ask Robert for information about what had happened, and it wasn't, it wasn't as easy as I thought it would be. Robert, where did he kill you? Robert? Don't worry, Kim knows he's in trouble. Tell me, smiley face. Robert wants revenge. After a little bit of convincing, I was able to get Robert to agree to meet me on the other side of the big bridge. For some reason, I decided to climb to the top of the, the bridge. I don't know why I was doing this, risking my life for no reason. Oh my god. Oh. 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 I jumped off and swam across the river and up into the sewer, and then we're spit out on the street. And then I met Robert. Hey. Oh my god. Scared the heck out of me. So Kim killed you? Yeah, so it was it happened right over here, I'll show you. I was looting the um the boats. And then I was like, oh that's a cool looking tower. So I start swimming, then I see and I see Kim. I was like, hey Kim, Kim, what's up Kim? Mm -hmm. And he goes up in the tower and hides and he doesn't say anything. <laughs> I'm like, Kim, hello, hello, Kim. And then he peeks his head out over the window and throws a splash potion on me and instantly kills me. I don't oh. know what it was. Oh my god. Yeah, there's some crazy, crazy effect potions. So, uh, that was, that was fun. I brought Robert back to my factory because, you know what? I, I trusted Robert. This man was just murdered. He didn't have that great gear. I, I didn't think he was going to betray me. And realistically, in this situation, if he even tried to kill me, I would have been able to kill Robert really easily. So I thought, you know what? Let's bring this man in and let's make an alliance with him. And uh, see what happens. So I showed Robert my stick. Let me show you something. Here's how I'm going to kill him. All right. I'm going to hit you, but you won't die, okay? Okay. Oh my god. That's a huge knockback. How much damage did I do? Uh, like four hearts. <laughs> okay, perfect. With all the upgrades that I had, including my extra heart, my permanent strength four, all the gear that I now had, I felt confident that whatever it was that Kim was using to kill people, I would still be able to kill him. Robert, on the other hand, uh, he had basically nothing. And if we were going to take Kim down, we needed to get my man some gear. So we went out looting. First, we went to the giant crater in the middle of the map. Again, very happy that the radiation mod was not working because, well, we would be two dead men then. Two dead men on the side of a crater. But from the edge of it, we saw that there was some beds and chests kind of exposed. It almost looked like there was the crater had blown away an underground area of the city. And sure enough, when we climbed down to it, yeah, we were right. Because we were walking into a hidden laboratory. Oh, it's a... Uh... Whoa. Oh, lab coats everywhere. Oh, it's a laboratory. We're gonna find some good stuff in here. Kitchen. Oh, there's a lunch menu. Oh, there's dried an anvil kelp. as well. Do you need an anvil? No, I got one. There's tried dried kelp, which you can eat. Oh, really? Yeah, do you need food? Yeah, I found an MRE. Yeah, that's what an MRE is. This, uh, this axe I found a smite. Oh, oh. Oh, look at this. It's called, the, uh, it's called Milo's Hunting Hatchet. Milo's Hunting Hatchet? Pretty good. That sounds scary. Elevator A, power failure, system failure. Atlas Labs, building a better... Danger. Trace levels of nuclear waste. Project 1828. 1. Level 2 staff. Hazards. Living objects. Ecological risk. Hey, let's see what's going on here. 
There's there will be something cool here. here. Level oh, 5 stuff. It's gonna be. Yeah. Oh, 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 oh. Take those. Take those. We'll, we'll Healing of extracts? What yeah, is we, this? You want it. Trust me. Oh, I got too much stuff in my inventory. You got it? Trying. Classified data. Alright, we're gonna drink it. Ready? Wait, we're gonna drink this drink? Yep. Three. Okay. Two. One. Oh no! Poison two minutes hunger. We have strength, though, for two minutes. Poison doesn't kill you, right? No, poison won't kill you. Don't even work. don't even try eating. Wait to block it up so so uh, zombies don't come and kill us. Why did you want to drink this? I, I don't know. I thought it would do something. <laughs> uh, there's there's no point in eating anything right now. Which one did you drink? Here's a book what on do you it. Mean? I drank the one that you drank. Can a substance be created that gives and gives it military and scientific personal powerful boost to turn the side of battles and from breaches? Oh no! Don't drink it. It says on the last page. Oh, I think I, I think I drank the other one. Uh, gives multiple effects when ingested by an organism. Increases the organism's strength and resistance to viruses for three days. Side effects, however, range from temporary blindness to insanity, death, and hunger. That's the oh, one I drink. Yeah, that's good. Do you have strength? Uh, yeah, I do. Maybe we drink the same one, who knows. Oh, there's another one in there. That's nutty. <laughs> Drinking random chemicals. Oh, that's nutty. <laughs> Why did we do that? Oh, come on. Heal more than that. I got one heart. That was so stupid. Why did we drink that? Okay, you know we're drinking random substances in here. I'm down to down to three more pork chops. Thank you. I'm almost, are you fully healed? Yeah, I'm good. I'm almost there. Okay, I'm good enough. All right, let's go. Keep looking. Oh! Oh my so God! I died right there. <laughs> oh my God! Oh. The elevator works. Oh. 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 Oh my God! Oh look, there's a. Engineering room down here. Robert, it's flooded. Oh my god, it is flooded. I'm gonna the drown. whole place is flooded. Oh wait, do you have a door? Oh boy. Oh boy. There's gotta be something down here if there's all this, you know? Yeah. Atlas hard hat. Come on. Shovels, ladders. What's the point of coming down here? I don't know. There's gotta be something. You get another door? Oh! oh. Robert! Get a door, get a door. Right here. Can you get in? Yeah. Atlas hard hat, water. Oh, I found a key, but... Atlas pump. I think it's just like a LARP key. Ooh. I, ca I can't keep taking damage. Oh god, I need to get in there. Ah! Get in. Okay, let's just... Let's try to find food on the other floor, because this is crazy. I don't know, what do I say to Kim? T tell him no. You've dug your grave. Level 4 access card. Oh yeah, grab that, we need that. Yeah. Oh god, I'm gonna get that. Oh. Project Auris. Oh, I got weapon. That's a cool thing. It. That's the name of a room I like to see. Weapon AG100. Uh oh. I stepped on here. a pressure plate. You did? Space sciences. No, it sounds like someone stepped on a pressure Super weapon R and D. Test number four five eight plasma gun multi shot quick charge. Say more no. nitrogen. Say no more. Flint steel. Can you eat the nitrogen? Oh yeah, ice cold nitrogen could be Can used you to cool eat nitrogen. nitrogen. Well, I don't know. You just asked that. Decontaminate all person. You gotta go de. Oh yeah, what's in security, there? Security, security supplies. Ooh, another crossbow. Like a special one? Oh, and grenades. Oh yeah, that's probably what Kim hit you with. Is it a splash potion? No, he hit me with a magic thing. 
Yeah, but I mean that's what that's what that would have been. Oh, grenade. Yeah, it's. I got a grenade too. Okay, I got you some food. Oh. Here's a steak. Harder to see in here. Beautiful. Steaks on the floor for you. I got night vision goggles as well. You night vision goggles? <laughs> Rip of lightsaber. Fire aspect, knockback, sharpness five, unbreaking. Rip off lightsaber. I'm an idiot. What'd you get? A, a, a basically a sword that just slaughters everything. What the heck? Why are you getting all the good stuff? Here, here's something for you. Crazy man. Crowbar. Crowbar. Their next cool thing, you get it. <laughs> are you joking me? You got the, you got the, the crossbow and the sword. <clears throat> yeah. Joking me in the ass. <clears throat> I need to kill Kim. Yeah, you do. Where's this go? I don't know. Zombie. Here, let me take care of him. Just the server over there. Oh, not if there's anything in here. All right. Well, there's other stuff. Look, hazard. Oh, you already went in here. Ah, we went in there. Well, this way. Did we go this way yet? I think we've oh, looted yeah. almost everything. Yeah. All right. Well, let's go deeper. When we got out of the lab, we looked around the crater more and decided to swim into the sewer, uh, which was just draining into the crater. That's really nice. Uh, we, we got lost in here, though, and after about 10 minutes of wandering around aimlessly, hoping to find somewhere new in the city, uh, we somehow ended up right back where we started. We, we bent, went basically nowhere and just wasted a bunch of time under... You know, it doesn't, it doesn't matter. So then... From there, we saw that there was another tunnel that we hadn't gone through connected to the crater, but this one wasn't a sewer. This one looked like it was a subway. Uh, so we climbed into it, and we started running down it. I had absolutely no idea how long this tunnel was. It felt like we were running down this, this thing forever. We, we were just you know, going and going and going. Oh god, where are we going? I have no idea where this goes to. It's long though. This is so oh. long. Yeah, we're already we're already going. So, Robert, how long is this tunnel? <laughs> I don't know. Wait, again. There's a turn. There's a bend. Oh god. <laughs> or something. There's more tunnel. <laughs> this goes on forever. What, at what point do we dig out? <laughs> I, I don't know. I want to see where it goes. It obviously goes somewhere. What if it brings us under the um the river and just across? I I think it goes to the other city. Oh. Whoa. Whoa, oh, Robert, this? we're somewhere completely different. Where are? Wait, what is this place? Eventually, after like what felt like 20 minutes, we had reached the end of it and surfaced just outside of the stadium. Seeing the stadium, we were thinking, okay, that seems like a perfect place to loot. There's got to be some good stuff in there. Uh, but neither of us considered that, uh, you know, maybe we shouldn't go into the stadium. Maybe, maybe a place where there's normally tens of thousands of people. Maybe it's not the safest place to walk into. There's all these waters. Oh no, here they come. Dig. Come on. They're all coming in. Get in, get in, get in, get in. Hurry, hurry, hurry. Oh, okay. There's zombies. There's zombies in here, but it's a big open area. I'm not gonna be able to run this thing. I need, I need food. Here. Oh my god, yeah. Look at this place, Sean. Oh! We made it run the stadium. Alright, we gotta look for a hot dog stand or something. I'm off on this reckoning. Can see that movie? <laughs> Wait, what did you say? Ah. You were born um, in the light. Oh, oh look at yes, this. Yes. Spoiled Sugar. Name tag. Perfect. There's gotta be food here. Oh, Robert. Yeah, just, just, just. There's so many zombies. <laughs> we have to go. Get out, get out, get out. We have to find a place way. that has food. Here we go. You can maybe try to sleep here. I have a bed. Oh, I don't have a bed. I'll go get one. Here we go. Here we go. 
Oh no. <laughs> I'll just get further actually. I'm not, I'm not gonna sleep here. God, I'm in. Oh. I can't, I can't, I can't, I can't. Okay, okay, uh. Down here. Through here. Oh god, where are we going? Oh, we're in the change room. Here, back here. I'm in. I can't. Hold Wait. on, hold on, hold on. I, I can't. There's, not, there's monsters nearby. I can't. Uh, back here. Okay, this is it. Okay, it's like that. Oh, okay. Yeah, some food now. Oh, oh no! Oh, oh, oh no! Run, 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 run. This way, this way. What do you mean this way? Oh my God, Robert! There's this so way. many. Come on, come on, come on! Oh. I don't know where we are. Seal it! Seal it! Two blocks. Oh. Seal it! I blocked. I blocked. I blocked. Oh. Get him out! Get him out! Go! Get him out! Robert! <laughs> Robert! 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 That was uh, that was not good. That was that was a rough death, and it caused caused quite a bit of problems. Firstly. Uh, I had no bed, so me and Robert spawned in the middle of nowhere. Uh, secondly, I lost a heart, which, uh, is not, never that great. Uh, then I also lost my permanent strength buff, so that, that one was kind of rough. Uh, then all of my gear, that was all now, uh, what I assumed to be gone. So, uh, very rough death. Especially because I, I was truly trying to get through this without dying once. And for some reason... I went against my better judgment and walked into a giant stadium with Robert. And uh, there we died. But you know what? You don't give up. We figured if we if we started running now, we could make it back to our stuff. So uh, we went. Only problem was, was that Robert and I, we were on the complete opposite side of the map. So uh, with no gear, no weapons, no food, no protection, no armor, nothing. This was going to be one massive dangerous and uh, quite honestly stupid journey to get there robert <laughs> what what just happened <laughs> we have to find we have to get back to the stadium <laughs> i i don't even <laughs> I don't know what to do. I don't know what to do. I tried. I, I thought we were just going to run, but then I didn't know where to go. <laughs> and then you said block it up. Where are we? Oh, wait. This is the spawn. Is that? The plan was simple. Find the crater. Then from the crater, find the mansion. And then from the mansion, find the tunnel that I had originally found way back when I was first looting the city. And then take that tunnel all the way to the stadium. And hopefully get there before our stuff despawns or worse, someone else gets our stuff. That was the plan. And that's, that's mostly what happened. We, we found the sewer, we climbed in, we started making our way through. We stopped uh, when we could to try to find loot and food. Oh God. I don't even have a pickaxe, do you? All right, here, you hit this one, the, the, I'll hit the bar. We climbed out of the sewer and onto the street. And then we started looking for the crater, but we were in the wrong section of the map. We were in an, we were in an entirely different city, uh, but we found the bridge, crossed it, made it to the nuke city. From there, we didn't even need to find the crater or the mansion. We just found where the, the tunnel was that had a sign that said stadium that way. So we went through the tunnel uh, and we we're back to where the stadium was. But getting to the stadium was one thing. The other battle was uh, getting into that small room and retrieving all of our stuff without dying again. Welcome to Unsorted Stadium. <laughs> hey, you guys. Hey, you guys. Wow, look at my stadium. <laughs> Who knows what they play here? Maybe they play basketball. <laughs> All right, so when we get out there, there's a few things in mind that I really need back. Hey, we'll, we'll just we'll get everything, we'll block it up, and then we'll... Two blocks, ready to go? I don't have anything. We should be fine. You think? There's a lot of zombies behind us right now. Oh boy. Oh! 
What? There's like 20 in there. I don't have anything. I don't have anything. Okay, well, our stuff's gonna despawn in a minute. Whoa. What do we do? I don't know. We we have to pull him out. Oh my god, here we go again, Robert. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna lure him out. Okay, okay. They're throwing potions. They're throwing. Something is. Robert, something is happening. Something oh, is they're happening. running. They're running. I know they're running. They were throwing potions. I, they were. They were. Oh my god. This guy was running. We gotta kill him. We can't. Okay. Okay. He hit. Oh my god, there's so many. Okay, wait. That's oh, he's dead. Right he's dead. He's dead? Okay. There's a ladder here. He's wearing your stuff. I ha he had your stuff on. Do you have my chest piece? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Did you go to bed still? Oh my god, we have to get the stuff back. Okay, wait, can yeah, I have my chest piece? Yeah. Uh, you had the rip-off lightsaber, right? Yeah. Did he have that? Yeah, he, he was using that. Okay. Okay, we're, we'll get it back. Okay, so we need some blocks first here. I'll... I don't care about this broadcasting right now. I care about these blocks. Oh my god. Oh, my phone, my all the zombies have our stuff, Sean. They all have our stuff? Oh my god. Oh my god, Robert! 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 The fight. Sean! Yeah, I don't know. Sean, Sean, I have an idea. I have an idea. I got a grenade. I got a grenade. Ready? Use it. Use it. Okay. Oh no, they're walking into it. Look, they're walking into it. We need, we need more grenades. Okay, well, we can get in there now. Can we get in there? Yeah. Oh my god. Oh yeah, all the stuff. Hurry up, hurry up, hurry up. That's your stuff over there. Block it off, block it off. I, do you have the torches? Yeah. Did well. you get your stuff? It just despawned. No! It literally just despawned. I, I couldn't have even picked it up. I have so much stuff in my inventory. Oh no! Uh, Ender pearls are here. All right. You might. Uh, some of the stuff might be on the guy. So. So much stuff. Do Do you happen to have my police baton? Um. No. I don't see it. I can't believe that. I'm trying. I don't have anything. There we go. They're spawning back there? Oh, no. oh, the little ones are getting in. Robert, oh, there's so many little ones! Uh, uh, we have to get another block on that door. Do you another block? Yeah. Robert, little one behind you! Robert, Robert, Robert! No! I'm closing the door. I'll take care of the little ones. I closed ones. it, I closed it, I closed it. Close the back one, too. Oh yeah, it's close, it's close. Oh my god. <laughs> They're breaking the door! No. <laughs> They're breaking the door! Get some blocks on it! What? What? Look, 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 look. <sighs> They're gonna keep breaking stuff though. I don't have any food. I'm out of food. I have rotten flesh. <laughs> my roof oh. lightsaber is almost broken. Oh. <laughs> we need to get out of here. This is the worst. That's that just leads to where we got they were coming in from. Uh, they're, here, they're, here, they're here, they're here, they're here, they're here, they're here. We just made an opening we can't close either. <laughs> I don't know what to do. What do we do? 
I don't know. We need to make it back to the subway, get a cart, and head back. I have carts. I have two carts. I also have two enterprise. You might need this. I have, I have two, I have two. Oh, okay. Let's split it. Okay, wait, what's above us right now? What's above us over here, over here? Wait, yeah, go, let's take a look through here. I don't want to, I don't want to make a hole like that. I've got a... Here, here, make a hole up here, two okay. blocks high. Come on up. They can spawn in here. They can spawn <laughs> in this. Where do we go, where do we go? They can spawn in uh, this. Br break, break the one underneath that I'm breaking. There's a zombie. Break the one underneath that I'm breaking. He's getting closer. I'll keep him away once I break it. Good turn around. Get out, get out, get out, get out. Oh my god. This way. There's your stuff. Go no. They got all their stuff, they have the sword and everything. I see the sword, I see the sword. I'm looking for a pickaxe. There's a pickaxe right there. Right. He's using an ender pearl. I need food. I need food. Two flush. Brother. Yeah. Yes, get out of here. I, uh, I guess. Let's go. Did you get your stuff? I, I barely got anything back. Because there's another little zombie coming. It's fine. No, we just gotta get out of here. Right. Oh, there's so many spawning. Oh my there. God! Oh, zombies. look how fast that guy's going. Let's go this way. There's too many of them. I'm not going to be able to run in a second. And that's a second. Yeah, you, you, have the, you have the fast speed, right? Oh, yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah. We made it out. Yeah, just barely, but we did it. We got, we got most of our stuff back, and we made it out without dying. We were alive. However, we were still being chased. So we ran down to the subway. We found carts and just, just tried to get out of the area as fast as possible. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Oh. Oh. No. Oh. oh, this is bad. John, 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 this is, this is bad. This is so bad. <laughs> you, you gotta hit them out of the way. You gotta hit them out of the way. Or if you wanna stop and let me get in front so I can hit them. This car keep going. He's hit. He's hitting me. He's hitting me. Oh, well, there, there, goes, the there goes our cards. Wait, he's going. I can stop on. I can catch it. Oh. Oh. <laughs> I'm, I'm gonna get it. I'm gonna catch it. I can stop it. <laughs> uh, come on. Come on. Stop. <laughs> we got. I don't know how you get lost in a straight subway, uh, but somehow we did. We, we were down there for a lot longer than I thought we were supposed to be, and uh, we we got lost. Eventually, though, we found a way out. Oh. Where's that going to? Did you go somewhere safe? What is this? What is the cruise ship? A cruise ship. Oh, we're going back across. And the side is that? Let's That's go, your side. Let's go to my house, this way. Finally, we made it back to the factory and stashed what we got. Now, th to be quite honest, this entire thing, we we didn't really walk away with much more that we went in with. I mean, I lost the permanent strength buff, so I was, I was still not happy about that. And I was still a man with food troubles. My farm wasn't any better. That, that, was, that thing was barely growing. So I said, Robert, I gotta take a break, all right? I gotta focus on myself. I gotta figure out how to get some food here because I'm a hungry man and I can't can't be doing these sorts of things unless I have a, like a good food source. So I grabbed that fishing rod that I had, one that I found back on the boat, and I went down to the, I guess the loading dock or the, the port or whatever it would you call it with the big crane. And I, uh, 
I started doing some fishing. Oh, look at this. There's a man fishing. Kind of reminds me of that, uh... You ever see that show where there's that guy who, like, he, he finds these massive fish? I think it's called, like, uh, Jeremy Wade's Dark Waters. That was a good show. It's kind of like a follow-up show to River Monsters, because that show... You know, it doesn't matter. Anyway, so I was getting harassed by zombies, so I climbed up... I can't believe I River Monsters. Anyway, so... <laughs> I was getting harassed by zombies, so I climbed up this giant crane nearby. Because, you know, when you start getting chased by zombies... You run away, you get up nice and high, normally that's how you get away from them. So I thought, okay, Crane, go up it. Oh, oh. Okay, I'm going up here, no one can... No fish can get me up here. I mean, zombies. Nice and safe up here. While I was up there, I, I saw that there was this little island, and uh, my hamster brain was like, okay, I know you're focused on food right now, but time to focus on something entirely different. Go to that island that you've already looted, and <laughs> maybe there's something new there. So, I just jumped off the crane and started swimming. There wasn't much there, like like I expected. Uh, in retrospect, I guess. Uh, it was just a giant waste of time. I looked around, I, I, I caught absolutely nothing, so I swam back to the factory. But I had a problem. I had no coal. Without coal, I couldn't cook the fish that I just caught. So I needed some, uh, but it was night, so instead of getting <laughs> focusing my food problem, uh, I now needed to make coal in the morning, so when the sun finally rose, I went down and started cutting down trees. And it wasn't long until a bunch of zombies showed up. Everything you do in this, it's only a matter of time before all the boys show up. And look, here they are. In this game, you, you can forget about the zombies, but they don't forget about you. They are always, always coming for you. They're always marching, they're always there, and they're always trying to get you. You cannot get away from them. You can temporarily put stuff between you and them, but these men, they will get you, and they will always come, so don't, don't ever forget about them. Anyways, I got my charcoal, and I started cooking my fish finally, and kind of just ate it watching the sunset. You know, living in this factory is, uh, not the greatest, because there's just constantly zombies in here. Doesn't matter how much I light the place up, they're just always spawning in here. So I don't know if I want to live here, or live somewhere smaller, or maybe out in the woods, or... I, I don't know. I don't know if a man can stay here with under these conditions, you know? Well, I sat there, I was... I was thinking about how... Whenever you fully loot a building, you normally get something good. There's almost always some piece of named gear in every building, and it normally relates to the building that you're searching. And I was worried that other people were getting to that stuff before me, and that when the extraction event did happen, I wouldn't have anything. And everyone else would have some sort of special gear, and uh, I just wanted to stop them from getting it. I started to feel like that was more important than getting food, because I... I could have all the food in the world, but if I didn't have gear that was going to get me to the extraction event alive, well, th then I wasn't going to survive. So I pulled up the map, and I started looking at some of the buildings that were both nearby and far away. I figured because Shadow's Tower was so close to this factory, that all of the buildings in the general vicinity that I was at had likely already been looted by Shadow, especially considering uh, how often he was online. So I thought, okay, if I'm going to loot, I'm going to need to go far. And I picked this lonely building way out in the woods on the complete other side of the map. And I kind of chose it as a goal that I would work towards. I figured I would make my way there and try to loot as much as I could on my way there and on my way back. And hopefully find something worthwhile on that journey. And hopefully not run into Kim. Because that guy, who knows what he was carrying. And who knows what everyone else was carrying. I would not even seen Lagundo yet. I, had, I hadn't seen Sneeve and who knows what Sneeve was up to. Ryan hadn't even spoke to that man in game. I, I barely even know who Ryan is, first of all. So who, what's that guy going to do? Shadow I hadn't spoken to since the first. There's a lot of unknowns. But you know what? A man's got to do what a man's got to do. And a man's got to get to that get to that spot on the map. Looks like a farm to me. Is that hay right there? Hey. There's more hay here. Oh, no, it's hay. No, no, you need to go away. Horse here, too. Uh oh. Oh. 
There's so much hay. Oh! I use that. I can't use this in real life soon. Ate some cheese today. Not supposed to do that. Oh. <gasps> Look at all this food on here. Oh! Here's the farmer. How's it going? <laughs> Oh, he's got half a zombie face. That's disgusting. What is that? These noises are scaring me. Oh. They're breaking down the door. Well, you know, it was almost perfect, but yeah, I, I could secure this place. I could board up all the windows, I could put a bunch of torches down, and I could make this entire farm safe and claim it as my own. Kind of like season two of The Walking Dead, you know, when they go to the farm, but hopefully not with the same finale where, uh, you know what, it's like 10 years old, the whole thing burns down. Hopefully I didn't want that to happen. Little did I know, though, that just a few blocks below my feet, in the basement that, at this current time, I did not know existed of this building. This would be the scene of a gruesome murder. A murder that would set in motion a series of events that would make it very difficult for anyone to make it out of this city alive. And I was the one who was going to murder an innocent man. Right below my feet, had no idea any of that was about to happen. For now, it was just a simple man making himself at home on a farm. We're good. Okay, there is. Whoa, whoa! There is. A, there is a lot of zombies in this farmhouse. I'm just gonna. The next day, I went out into the fields to see what was growing in this. I was hoping there would be a wheat out there. Oh! Oh, there's. They're in the fields. There's, there's pigs in there. There's pigs. There's pigs. There's pigs. Oh no no no! There's zombies. So I lured a, a good chunk of the horde out of the farm and into some military checkpoint. I can't get distracted with this place right now, even though this, I see something like this and I immediately want to go inside and start looting it. But I, I need to I, I need to focus. I couldn't be doing that right now. So I went back to the farm, I killed more zombies and looked around, and I stumbled on oh I, the best thing I had found yet. A massive, giant, tower full of food. <gasps> no. No way. There was so much hay in here. Yeah, but when I saw that, I thought, okay. See? Sometimes it's good to neglect your problems because they just end up working out for you. I didn't, I mean, not, not raccoon no more. My man was a man again. Not a, not a little creature looking for scraps and dumpsters. We're feeling good. Feeling happy with this. This is good. So I destroyed a, a, a bunch of the hay. I didn't destroy it. You know, I broke it down. Got out of the silo. Closed it back up so no one sees that. Uh, then I put down a bunch of torches around the farm. I destroyed any spawner that I could find. There were so many hidden spawners in this map. They were everywhere. Every, every, anytime you saw anything slightly weird, there was almost always a spawner under it. I replaced all of the windows with bars that zombies couldn't break. Uh, and then I hid all of, uh, not all of it, but a good chunk of that hay underneath the toilet. Dug out a little spot underneath the toilet and put a ton of hay in there. It's a good spot. Underneath the toilet. With that all taken care of, I went upstairs and uh, waited for the night to end. In the beautiful morning, on my new farm, I need to figure out how to get out of here without dying. I hadn't been on this side of the river yet. I mean, why, why, why did I write that? Yes, I had been on this side of the river. What a dumb thing to write in my script. Apparently, there was an entire city over on this side. Why do I write? Apparently, I knew there was. A, I knew there was a city on the other side of this. It doesn't matter. I wanted to loot the other city, the one that had not been nuked, the nice one, uh, and see what was going on here. I was hoping that no one had really explored it yet, or maybe there would still be some stuff around, I don't know. So I did just that. I picked a giant building, and I started climbing. Oh! Hey. Okay. I got to the top, and I looted some chests, and just as I thought that there was nothing, I found a training stick 
a beautiful, beautiful training stick to replace that uh, police baton that I had. And oh, I'm glad to have this thing. Training stick. There it is. I used an enderpearl to jump to the nearby uh, brick building, and I tested out the police baton. I got the stick here. Oh! I went through the full building, and you know I didn't find much at all, and I got down to the ground level, and I found a pool, a beautiful pool. Pool. I looted it, and like usual, I didn't get much. I guess these places had already been looted, and that they're just... I, I don't know. I felt like I wasn't, wasn't getting lucky. Whenever someone else looted the building, they're finding everything you'd ever desire. Me, finding nothing. Found the words P-O-L. But you know what? It's better to find nothing and be alive than find everything and be dead. Like, uh, Shadow. I have no idea what was going on here, but this man had apparently set off a nuke or something because he was just dying. Have to go watch his video, see what was going on over there. Because something was happening to this man. The next day, uh, I joined the server, and immediately, I saw just how deadly the zombies had became. Okay, I want to see if they can break down this. There's the door. They can break the blocks now. They can break the blocks! I ran across the farm field trying to escape the zombies, and while I was doing that, I noticed that the zombies were unable to break fence pieces. And with that in mind, I wanted to stock up on a bunch of them, but my axe, yeah, of course, it was broken, and I didn't have the resources to make a new one, so I left the farm, I walked down the road, and found a sign that pointed me to... Uh, happened to be a mine nearby. Jonathan's mine, alright. I went down to the mine, and I started looking around. Not bad. Some good stuff, but I did not come down here for this, so... I did not find an axe down there. I was hoping to find some iron or something to make a make an axe. I did not find any of that. And I suppose I could have just mined here and probably found iron pretty quickly. But I'm a man who refused to do that for some reason, because I'm an idiot. So I kept looking for an axe. And I thought, hey, you know, you know where I haven't looted yet? The place that I was really interested in going to? The military checkpoint that leads to the military base on the other side of the tunnel. But hey, you know what? Probably something good going on in there. Normally these types of places in games are where you find good stuff, but uh, it's also where you where you die a lot because there's always some there's always something going on, you know? Always there's other players or there's some sort of mutant. There's always something going on. This is where Kim spawned, and he had said multiple times that there were some juiced up zombies in here. So I was I was a little bit nervous about getting close, but I pressed on and I climbed up one of the towers. And look at this! I found an axe. Oh, look at that. Gavin's axe. God, I just went through all this trouble getting an axe. And since things were looking relatively clear, and I had not seen any juiced up zombies, and, you know, I was managing to... Uh, I seemed... I felt fairly safe. I went further past the checkpoint into the tunnel, which, uh... I'll tell you right now, that was a mistake. There was a door halfway through it, and I wanted to loot it, so I went in, and, uh... <laughs> I'll tell you right now, if, if there's ever a zombie apocalypse, do not... I repeat, do not do what I just did here and walk into a place with only one exit. This is exactly how you die. There's gotta be something here. Lovers. Look at this. Beautiful sword, that's what we're looking for. Oh, why did I pick the sword up? It's so slow.
I found myself in somewhat of a situation here. Uh, this is not good. This is really not good. Every part I open has zombies in it. Okay. I officially don't know what to do. I officially have no clue. So every time I open something like this, they flood inside. While I was waiting, I looked at the radio equipment and I had an idea for later. After things calmed down a little bit, I escaped through the bunker by digging out. Thankfully, it's Minecraft, so uh, I can do this. If this was real, let's just say, oof, be one dead man in there. Uh, when I got out, though, I ran home. Str straight home. I ate and slept. And I'm not getting myself into a situation like that again. And here I am, right back there again, the very next day, doing the exact same thing. Except this time, I went all the way through the tunnel and came face to face with one of the juiced up zombies. What is that? Look at that guy. <laughs> okay, you see something like that, you just turn right around. Unless... That's way too fast. Ooh, I want no part of that, so I left, and I ran straight out of the compound, and out through the checkpoint, and back onto the road. I followed it further, and I saw a radio tower. Back when I was stuck in the military, you know, whatever that was, office with the radio equipment, my idea was to send out a radio transmission to everyone else who was alive. We came up with a rule that anyone that comes here to this radio tower could broadcast a radio signal or transmission to all players. It was really just a voice message that we posted in Discord so that when you log back on, you play. Anyways, so I sent out a transmission. This is a radio transmission. Hey, how's it going? It's, uh, I'm in a bunker right now, not doing too... Here's the problem. There's a man living in this city, and he needs to die. His name is Kim, and anyone who can kill this man will be rewarded handsomely. I've got a chest hidden with some good stuff, and when I tell you this is good stuff, you got to believe me, it's some good stuff. If you kill this man, I'll give you the location of the chest, and it's yours, all right? I want this guy dead. You got one day. Then I pretended that I was, I guess, playing an Ubisoft game, and I climbed to the top of the tower thinking that there was something up here, and uh, yeah, of course there wasn't. There better be something at the top of this. Oh, there's a chest up there. That's it? That's all that's up here? I climbed back down and ran all the way back to the farm. Uh, but there was a problem. The farmhouse was overrun by zombies and was absolutely no longer safe. So I took shelter in the barn making it my, like, ninth house at this point. It wasn't the best, but, you know, at least I was safe and alive. Yeah, unlike my man Ryan. Look at this. It Ryan keeps dying. This guy, this guy keeps dying. I think he has five hearts now. He's gonna... Give me one really desperate man. That guy's gonna kill people to get hearts back. Yeah, five hearts total. See, that, that right there, when a man's that desperate is when a man's dangerous. Incredibly dangerous. Gotta go watch Ryan's video, see what's going on over there. The next day, I uh, wanted to explore a little bit more, so I kept going further down that road that I was uh, that I found the radio tower on, and I found a small wooden house. On the second floor, there was a chest with an axe, a potion, and a note. Uh, the note read, As I lay dying in the never-ending pit of my nightmares, I think of you who kept my candle wick burning in the dark cave filled with the piles of rotten friends and family that have turned to a life of murder and abandoned the hope of existence. That was kind of a long sentence. My gift to you is the gift of escape. A never-ending peace that I held in this bottle within this chest. I await you, your return to my loving arms in the life of paradise beyond the hilly sunset. Yeah, there was no way I was drinking... I, I await your return to my love and escape. That right there is the language of a potion that will kill you. So I thought, you know what? There's no way I'm drinking that potion. In fact, I'm going to force my man Kim to drink it. I didn't know how and I didn't know when, but I was going to force Kim to drink it. Anyways, I kept exploring and I found the hospital. That's a hospital. There's no way I'm going in a hospital. 
The hospital is like the one place you don't go in a zombie apocalypse. Okay, I just I was kind of curious to know what's in here. Yeah, okay, um, you know what? It shouldn't be in here. Oh, I did not find anything. I got scared and left. I'm not dying in there. My man, my my brain is evolving, learning to stay away from danger. But nearby there was an amusement park, and a man like me, oh, who has to know what's going on in there? Amusement park? Are you joking me? You see something like that, you go straight in there. So I went in, and uh, little did I know that uh, not long from now, that this very place would be... Blood would be spilled here as well. Men would die in this park. And I'm going to be completely honest, it, it was kind of my fault as well, so... Uh, but for now, oh, so the man loving, having fun in the, having fun in the theme park. Bumper cars! Boom, boom, boom. Pretty good. I love bumper cars. Ashtray. What is this? Popcorn house. Seating area. The safari. Oh, I gotta go on the safari. Oh, the big hamburger! The big ham- Look at this. I'm home. I'm home. I'm going home. Oh, it's good to be burgers. Oh, the burger. There's the burgers. Oh my god. Oh my god. Burger on a burger. Burger on a burger. Funnel cake, stone sword. Burger, burger, burger. Cheesy nachos. Dragon head. Alright. Okay, here we go. Here we go! Burger on a coaster! Not for the camera, okay. Oh! Oh no, 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 not this guy, not this guy. Yeah, you go the no no, I don't wanna go this way. Stop, 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 stop. Stop! No, 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 wrong this is the wrong way. Go this way. He's still there! Why is there... Go! No, no, up the coaster! What are you doing? Go this way! Go, on, go up! Up! Ignore that guy! No, stop! Here we go, here we go! No, no, no! Stop! I, I just want to go on the roller coaster! This is not, this is, there's, there's absolutely no way this was the way this thing was designed for, I don't know what to say. If I run into that guy one more time, I'm gonna lose my mind. Come on. Come on. No, 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 not him, not him, not this guy, not this guy. Stop, stop this world. This, all this noise is attracting so many zombies. I'm going back down. Okay, this may as well be the way, it, hey, how's it going? This place is all lit up too, it's nice. This is a good co you know this coaster is longer than most real roller coasters. There's the burger, the big burger. I'm sleeping in the bu in the burger. Can't do it, can you? Can't you can't figure out a break? You guys are fun though. Over here. This is probably dumb. This is probably dumb. Oh my. Oh my. What have I done? What have I done? Do you hear the screaming of the zombies? It, it's, the, the right side closed. The right side closed for construction. Okay. Welcome to the future. Oh my. Apollo. Look at the spaceship! Hard hat required. Employees only. Hmm. Maybe, uh... I don't know. I almost died. I almost just died there. Diff I don't like that. I don't like that. Look how big of a drop that is. Oh! Oh! 
Oh, I just thought something so good. I'm gonna kill someone with this. I don't know who, but I'm gonna kill them with it. Oh! Okay, it needs to be a different type of door. Oh, I don't want to exit the normal way. Oh, I don't want to exit the normal way. Oh! Oh! Oh, it's so scary. I'm, I'm, I'm honestly more scared on this than I am on any roller coaster I've ever been on. Oh. Okay. Not, not doing that again. That was horrible. Eventually, I left the theme park and I kept exploring until I found a, found a Walmart. I guess they were calling it Block Mart. Block Store. Hey, good old, good old Walmart. Hello, hello, hello. How's it? Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Oh, oh. Oh, okay. Time to leave Walmart. Probably, some, there's probably something good in Walmart. You know, you can always find something good in Walmart with their low, low prices. Wait, this is supposed to be Home Depot. Okay. And probably some sort of good weapon here. Oh, okay. Okay. I, I don't know why I came in. Uh, I, IKEA. I don't know what it is. Is it IKEA? Where's Kim? Kim's probably in here. No, we gotta go. Wait, Kim's Norwegian. Is that Swedish? What's in here? There go There's so many. What's in here? Okay, this, this is too fat. I gotta go. Oh my god, it's so loud. Look at all the jack o' lanterns. Well, uh, Walmart was good, but uh, not nearly as good as. Well, there was a bandit camp nearby that I looted and I found a diamond, bringing my total diamonds to two, which is pretty good. I kept looting the area and I was getting very close to that one place that I chose a while ago that I wanted to make it to. The. Uh, this, this, the lone building out in the middle of the field it was very close, so uh, I went there, and it turns out, guess what? It was just a we little weird tower that was not much going on here. I guess it was looted. The only thing that I got was this skull helmet, which, yet again, would be something that I would wear very soon and commit heinous acts on other living humans. Uh, but you know what? Don't worry about that right now. What you gotta worry about is me. Living life in this tower. Anyway, so behind the tower was a giant building, uh, and I think it was some sort of company or factory. Or I, I, to be honest, I don't know. I didn't. I don't loot it that much. I went in. I saw a giant tower. I climbed up it, and all the chests that I checked had been already looted. Another man had got here first. The loot was gone. This was supposed to be mine, and someone got here first. Let me, let me know who looted this first. Go watch everyone else's video and tell me. It's kind of bone to pick with them. Anyway, so I kept looting, and uh, yeah, I did, it didn't really get much. I got to the top, and just it was kind of a waste of time. So I left and I started heading back to the farm, but I stumbled across another one of those juiced up zombies. Whoa! 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 He's still coming. Turns out that they were husks and uh, husks, very, very strong. As you saw, they're very fast and they would rip you to shreds. Uh, when I was making this mod pack, did not know that, did not plan for that, did not know that they would be in there, uh, and I, you know what, I'm just glad I didn't have to spawn around them like my man Kim, so, it's not my problem. On my way back though, I got distracted and I went to explore uh, one of the final places that uh, I had wanted to check, which was this, the giant snowy mountain. So I started hiking up the trail to it, and along the path I found some TNT and a, a chest with a cool machete in it. Shortly after that, there was a there was a few buildings, and one of them, oh, one of them, found something truly remarkable inside. Hey, Sean. Hey, my man, how's it going? Good to see ya. I love ya. All right, you stay here. It's, it's safest for you here. The good guy right there. At the top of the mountain, there was a watchtower, but yeah, like everything else. I guess a man had been here first, and it left nothing for me, so I just kind of waited up there. <laughs> Morphine, okay. <sighs> okay. In the morning, I headed back to the farm, and that's when it happened. Kim had struck again and killed Lagundo. I put two and two together and I realized that what Kim was using was grenades. 
Though the things that I had been seeing and ignoring was what Kim was using to murder people. I logged out for a second, and just as I logged back in, Robert had killed Kim. I hadn't seen Robert in a little while, so I was a little bit nervous to see him again. Uh, so I told him that he could collect the bounty for killing Kim, uh, but, but I would not be there. I would place it in a chest, and he would go to the location where it was. And then what I would do was I would sit in a little building nearby and crouch so he couldn't see my name tag and just watch and see how he acts. Or if he was with someone else, maybe I'd hear them talking. I didn't know what the plan was. I just wanted to make sure that he was safe to encounter. So I put the chest on the back of the uranium truck, uh, and then I hid in the nearby building, and I waited and watched. Robert arrived, and thankfully, he arrived alone, which made me feel a little bit better. So I jumped out of the building, and I came out and I talked to him for a little bit. Things were heating up on the server. People were getting good gear. I mean, look at Robert. People were killing each other, and I was starting to get a little bit worried about all of my stuff being stolen. So I remembered back to how I needed to secure my stuff, and the best way of doing that was to get an ender chest. So I told Robert, Robert, my man, I need some diamonds. I need them bad so that I can get some obsidian, and then I can use my blaze rods, which are really cool noodles, if you remember from the beginning, to make an, uh, an ender chest. Robert said, hey, my man Sean, do not even worry about it. I got a diamond pickaxe. So we went down, again, went right back into that reactor chamber, or whatever it was. Again, th thankfully, no radiation was working. And uh, Robert sat there for a while, chipping away at the obsidian that we were making between the lava and the water uh, while I was standing guard and... Uh, making sure that no zombies got to him. Robert harvested enough obsidian to make not one, but two ender chests. Gave me the stuff. I said, hey, Robert, for your for your aid, I will give you everything you need to make uh, the ender pearl or whatever it is. The, I forget what the main thing is called. The one that you mix the ender. It doesn't matter. You know what I'm talking about, obviously. So I gave Robert that. I took my ender chest. I put it, I hid it in the factory. I put it behind a bunch of bookshelves in the, I guess, the break room, and I put a little piece of carpet on top of it so that if someone did enter this area, I know they can't loot my ender chest, but I did not want them to destroy it, because destroying someone else's ender chest is, uh, is kind of, kind of a, you don't do that unless you mean more, you know? So, I hit it, just in case. You never know what's going to happen here. Then Robert said that he wanted to put his ender chest at his house, and I realized, Oh, wait a minute, Robert has a house? I've never even seen Robert. Hey, Robert, where's your house? Let's go. Let's go see that. So I went with him. Robert had made his base in a... In, you remember that seafood restaurant? Robert was living in there. And he, he, he had a very cool entrance, too. You wouldn't know where my house is, right? No. Watch this. Yeah, watch this. Oh! What the hell? Let's go. What the hell? I missed that when I was here. Yeah. Did you I was that? just I accidentally hit it. Oh my. What is the I set that up. I set that up cuz I kept spawning no matter how much light I put up, so I just oh. put a wall here. And then I have a little um a little way out in case the... Oh, that's cool. Oh, look at this. Robert Robert's living it up. Well, I still don't I have a man who lives in like six different places. I was I was living in a ha in a hamburger. It was just like a, yesterday, and then Robert's living in a secret. This man's doing a lot better than I am, which is concerning, because how, how well is everyone else doing? I haven't even seen half these guys yet. I don't know where they are, what they're up to. I had no idea. And Kim... Kim was still out there, and well, yes, Robert did kill Kim and technically get his revenge. Kim had killed Lagundo as well, and when he killed Lagundo, I guess Robert was able to recover some of the items that uh, Lagundo was initially carrying, one of which was a special named dagger. Lagundo in private had told Robert that he really wanted it back, and Robert was planning on just giving it to him, and I was thinking, Robert, my man, you have forgotten that I am easily the most toxic man on this server. We're not, we're not just going to give Lagundo that back. We are going to force Lagundo to work for us. The plan was simple. First, Robert would tell Lagundo that he had the dagger and would bring it to him. What Lagundo wouldn't know is that I would be there, hiding and waiting. Robert would meet with Lagundo, and then, when the moment was right, I would jump out, and we'd rough him up a little bit. We wouldn't kill him, but we'd let him know that if we wanted to kill him, that we easily could. Then when he was down, injured, scared, and trapped, we'd tell him what we wanted him to do. And if he didn't do it, we'd be back and we'd kill him on sight. If he completed the task, though, we'd reward him, and we'd protect him. But the problem was, was that we had absolutely no info on where Lagundo was, where his house was, where he was, what he was up to, what his gear was like. We had none of this information. The only thing that we had to go off of was that we knew that he spawned somewhere near the airport, and that was it. So, 
That's what we did. We started our journey to the complete opposite side of the map. We sailed across the river past the ginormous bomb site that Shadow had set off. Uh, you gotta go watch his video, see what happened there. Uh, then we went into the shipping yard, in through one of the suburbs, up to the hospital, got in, uh, got in a bit of trouble there. This is gonna get a little bit freaky. Out of the hospital, down onto and along the highway, making sure to loot all the cars that we saw there. Uh, then we got to the crashed plane, and we looted it and realized that someone had looted it before us. Oh! Oh! Oh, 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 I did the same thing as you! <laughs> and eventually, into the factory district. Robert got a hold of Lagundo, and they agreed to meet up at the Ashton Hotel, so we were on the right track. The trick now was getting there before Lagundo. The other issue was Robert and I absolutely could not be spotted together, especially by Lagundo. So when we got to this tunnel that would lead us to the Ashton Hotel, we opted to go over it and through the woods instead of through it, our fear was that Lagunda was already on the other side and he would see us come out together and run. When we got across, Robert made his way to the front of the Ashton Hotel and uh, I climbed a tree and waited. From the spot, I could see Robert and eventually Lagundo, who showed up on a horse. It was obvious that Lagundo was trying to keep his distance from Robert. This was a problem. We, we needed this man much closer and also this was, it was just a bad spot in general. I was way too far to get a jump on him, so I moved closer. I carefully climbed out of the tree, moved further down the road, and then climbed up and onto the airport roof where I had a better view of what was going down. While I was doing that though, Lagundo and Robert had moved further down the road and were still yet again too far away for me to get the jump on him. I watched them all night, waiting for them to hopefully move closer. They didn't. Lagundo left and our window closed. So I met back up with Robert. We needed Lagundo to come back, so Robert told him that uh, there was something else he wanted to tell him, that he, he, they needed a trade or something like that. I don't know what exactly he told Lagundo to get him to come back, but Lagundo agreed. But this time though, we knew the direction Lagundo would be coming from and we would be prepared. So Robert made a little structure in front of the Ashen Hotel uh, and I waited on the roof. It took a long time, but eventually he showed up. I sat and waited for a window to attack. I needed Lagundo to turn his back to me, and when he did, I loaded some tear gas into my hot bar, and I went for it. You're in? You wanna Kim work dies. together? Kim dies, at my, at my hand. Here's what's gonna happen, Lagundo. You're gonna drop everything right now. Bye. Lagundo, stop. We're not gonna kill Sean. you, stop. Lagundo, Hold. we have you Sean. right now. Sean. I just wanna talk, Lagundo. Oh my god. All I want Look to do is Look, Gunda, we actually just want to talk. I, I wasn't I, expecting I Sean I promise to you I'm not going to attack you. We have you right now. Gunda, I can kill you right now. I'm not going to do it. I'll put it. I'll put all three of us up into the air. I don't care. No, we're not doing it. We're not, not going to oh do it. Oh my god, Sean. I don't know why Sean came at you like this. Stop following me. I don't know why Sean came at you like this. Stop following me. We just want to talk. Stop following me. You don't blind people that you just want to talk to. No, I do. I need to be. I need you in a certain state. Five minutes of. Where the hell did you even get this? Just relax, and everything will make sense in a second. We want to make an entrance. Now, I didn't know Sean why, was oh, going to blind you. Oh, you made an I, entrance, I didn't Sean. know Sean was going to blind you. <laughs> Here's what's going to happen next, okay? I thought we were just going to talk. <laughs> we're not going to. We're not going to kill you. I don't want to kill you, and I don't want yourself. I can see you're wearing a leather helmet. I'm trying to kill all the zombies. This would be really great if, you know, I wasn't blind. Yes, but what we're saying right now, I don't know why Sean blinded you, but I guess I guess it's good because now we actually can talk and we have yes. you here. We, um, got you, we got you in a corner. Okay, listen. You work for us now. <laughs> Turn around, there's a zombie. You're going to find Kim's base. Kim's already killed me with those stupid grenades once. I don't want you to I don't want you to fight him. We will fight him. We just want you to find him. That's all you got to do. He's already on the lookout for me. That doesn't matter. I can't risk getting hit by those grenades. How many hurts you have, Sean? Doesn't matter. Find Kim's base. Or next time we see you, this will be different. <laughs> Once you have the information, send a radio broadcast. I Let want my horse. You can get your horse. My horse. I've got more horses. You want a horse? I got about five. So I think I think uh, what we're trying to say is, um, you find Kim's base, or next time we see you, we kill you. Okay. 
So once you find you, it, I want you to make a radio broadcast saying the eagle has spotted the dog. Okay. I, if I'm going to track him down, I need something that he took from me. What? I need some pearls so I can get into, so if I find him, I can like here, it. Here, here's, here's pavement it, up front. And there's some pearl. potions. That, that repays the one I just used to escape you. Yep, there you go. Here's a oh, knockback. I can finally see again. Enchanted book, again. knockback, oh. so you can knock him off a building. How are you all in diamond armor? <laughs> we have access to resources. And if you can pull this off, you'll be rewarded for it. I just need to find him. I don't need to kill him. You don't need to find him. You just need to find him. You, 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 you need to find <laughs> Sorry, him. Sorry, you know what I'm saying. You need to find him. I just need to find him. I don't need to kill him. You need a positive idea on where his base is. So I can know. There's another way you can get to him, too. He's trying to get Ryan to work for him. Trying to get Ryan to work for him. Yes. He trusts Ryan because Ryan has three hearts right now, and he doesn't think he'll try to kill him. Okay. Also, Kim won't kill someone with three hearts. Yeah, that's that's a bit of it. That's that's low even for him. <laughs> and then you know what? Good luck. I would have I, oh, I would have liked to get. Oh my god! I would have liked to get. Imagine the mission. if you sent me flying and I would have broke my ankles. <laughs> that's kind of what that's I wanted what to do. That's what he wanted to do. <laughs> yeah. I'm going for my horse, so I'm walking the same way as you. Uh, so you said goodbye, but we're all walking uh, yeah. the same direction. <laughs> oh, that's awkward, awkward. That's really awkward. Isn't that the worst? All right. Uh, all right. Good luck. Keep us updated on the. Mission. Uh -huh. Send a radio transmission when the job's done. I'll send done. a radio transmission, or if I tell you that there's a dead drop at site A, it's in this barrel. All right. Sounds okay. good. Okay. We got the man. And now, hopefully, Laguna would find out where Kim's base was. And then? Well, then we could make Kim truly pay. We celebrated by by me showing Robert the roller coaster. Yeah, just grab a minecart. Okay. And you put it here. Get in and press the button, and you go! Oh. It's not gonna work with both of us like this. <laughs> Here. Alright, press it when you're in position. Here, just get out, just get out of the car. There you go, now press it. Oh, oh my god! <laughs> Here, I'll kill him. <laughs> what? There's a cart in the way. There's a cart in the way. Switch carts. Okay. Oh, another cart went away. Oh. Wait, you took the cart. No. Oh. oh, there it is. Okay, I got one. I got one. I got one. Go, 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 go. Turn go the other way. Here we go. This sucks. It's so much fun. Robert and I logged off. Later when I logged back on, I had some serious work to do. I still didn't have a bait. I had, honestly, realistically, I had nothing. At this point, I had lived in a, a trailer, a, a mine, a uranium factory, a casino, a farm, at one point, a, ham a hamburger. I lived in a hamburger, a barn. So I needed to finally take care of that once and for all. I wanted to live relatively close to Robert so that if something was going to go down, I could help him, or better yet, he could help me. I needed somewhere that wouldn't be that hard to secure and wasn't too obvious that I was living in. People were allowed to raid it as long as I was online. So it needed to be somewhere that, you know, I don't know, it had to be the perfect spot. So I made a boat and I set sail looking for somewhere absolutely beautiful. And that's when I saw a lighthouse and I thought, you know what? Ooh, that's not so bad at all. A man living in a lighthouse. Wow, I kind of could get behind that. There's water all around it so zombies can't spawn on the ground near it and sneak up on me. I would see anyone coming in a boat. If they tried to swim, they would be at a disadvantage. But it was tall. Zombies weren't going to spawn. The lighthouse was seeming like a very good place. I mean, not bad at all. So I crashed into the shore, jumped out of my boat, and started ma making my way up. All of the chests were looted, which... Yeah, I mean, it wasn't ideal. Someone had obviously been here and therefore knew the layout of it and knew what it was like up here. So that, yeah, I, I, I don't know. I was hoping there'd be something cool up here, but I guess someone had already gotten it. So I just kind of sat there for the night and uh, I don't know. While I was waiting for the sun to rise, I took notice that there was a trapdoor ceiling. So I started opening a few of them and uh, there wasn't much. There was like redstone blocks and emeralds up there, neither of which were useful for me. But 
just by chance, I decided to break a couple of the blocks randomly, and one of the ones that I decided to break on a whim had a chest hidden behind it. I just chose a random one to look in. I wonder if it has loyalty. It does. Okay. Hey, <laughs> I chose a random one. What other stuff was in there? Let's read about this trident. This old thing has been in my family for generations. Best to keep it locked away. Keep its value that way. Oh. I'm <laughs> glad I randomly, randomly decided to mine in here. Whoever looted up here before me, you made a huge mistake. Take a look at that. Tri that right there. Okay. <laughs> oh, for a man like me to find a trident was truly incredible. The only problem was, was that I had absolutely no idea how tridents worked in Minecraft because I had never really used one before. I mean, I had briefly held one and thrown it at Kim in a previous video, but I had never really truly used one. So I had to watch a video on how they worked. I did not want to lose this thing, and I thought, you know what, lighthouse, this is cool and all, but uh, I, I don't know how well I can defend this place. So I jumped out of the lighthouse, I think with a water bucket or something like that, got back in my boat, sailed directly back to Robert's restaurant, took a good hard look around, made sure that I was not being watched by anyone. I swear, when I watch everyone else's video, if anyone was watching me at this point and found Robert's base because I... I need, I need to watch other people's videos. I'm sure no one was watching me. Anyways, I went in and immediately put the trident in the ender chest and logged out. At this point, I gave up on having my own house. There, there was... I, it just wasn't going to work out. I figured, out, you know what? I would just... I was just going <laughs> to stay in Robert's house until he noticed that I was... I was living here and then at that point when he finally noticed that I was I, I would just say you know what Robert it's been so long now I may as well just let a man like me live in your house no problem right that's not gonna be a, not gonna be a big deal speaking of Robert though why did this man have a jail in his house why does Robert have a jail in his house Robert 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 hey. oh you're here come on I'm coming up did you hear that what? I was just saying Robert randomly, just as you joined. Or as you got here. <laughs> you were just going Robert, Robert. Yeah. Hey, what's with the jail cell? I don't know. Was uh, it, it was here. It was here when I got here. It was. It's not a jail cell. I'm assuming it's like. This is like a. Uh, a place for people to come to. It's like a shelter, and this is just like the front desk of the shelter, I guess, letting people in. Like you guys are sick, stay away, but you can stay here, kind of thing, I guess. Oh, yeah, there's I tried putting slabs down, and they still spawn. Like, these zombies don't care, they don't adhere to normal zombie rules. And unfortunately, I think they can break these fences. No, we'll see. Come on in. No, oh, don't come on in. They're stopping. Hey, why are you stopping? Come on. Robert was telling me about some hidden spot in the mountains. He said that he had found it while exploring, but it seemed dangerous and he didn't want to go in alone. I want to point out that at this point, I had I had only died once. I I this was very rare for a man like me to survive as long as I had. I I had only died once, okay? <laughs> I thought by this point I'd be working with three or four hearts. No, 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 no. I had almost, I had all of my hearts. I was a full man. So I said, you know what? Sure, my man, Robert. Let's go. Let's go raid that mountain. No problem. The only thing was, so we we still had no idea where Kim was or what he was planning. Anyways, I repaired my fast chess piece. We did some other stuff at the factory. I forget what, to be honest. I showed Robert my stash. I don't know why I showed Robert this. There was absolutely no need for me to. Sh you ever watch the show Survivor? I, I, it's one of my favorite shows to watch. Whenever someone finds a hidden immunity idol in that show, they always show someone that they found it. And I always think, just don't tell anyone. Just keep it in your pocket. But they always have to tell someone. And I thought, you know, if I'm ever on Survivor, there's no way I'm showing anyone that if I find one of these things. Yet here I am playing this game, showing Robert my secrets. There was no need for me to do that. I don't know why it is. Anyways, we went to the mountain 
and he showed me where the entrance was to this like secret lab, and we went in. Oh, look at this! Oh, get on! Oh! Oh my okay, God! <laughs> oh no, Sean! Sean! What? Oh my God! I'm taking fall damage because it's bouncing me up so high. Wow! Oh! Oh my God! It's an end crystal. Oh! Can we take? No, we can't take it. It's it's like stuck there. Do not hit it either. And I have Ender. Oh, nice. Make another Ender chest with that. Don't what? touch the prototype. Oh, look at this, Sean. Oh my God, there's. Oh, I got an end crystal. Oh, did you? Oh, beautiful. Yeah. Is there a way to remove okay. these without blowing them up? No, no, no. Oh, I found tons of Ender. Or... Oh, Robert. What? There's a. Is it? <gasps> All right, let's both take half the soul sand. There's some more over here too. Back up. Did you, this is the last way we, oh wait. We Don't go to that crystal. Okay. Oh my God. Oh, maybe there's something inside of it. No. I can break it and see. Anything? Doesn't look like it. And go underneath it. Yeah, it's nothing. <laughs> what what right. tools are you using? <laughs> Iron, they're just breaking. Okay, so we have an end crystal. We can use that as a, as a trap now. Yep. Oh, no. Not too shabby. Oh, no. What? What? Stick on, stand on the sticky. It stops you from bouncing. This is cool. <laughs> yeah. Oh, I'm bouncing. Yeah, so if you start bouncing, you start taking fall damage. Oh! Oh! <laughs> <laughs> we left the research laboratory, and then we started heading back. Kim was online and still out there. He was who knows where, doing who knows what. So we wanted to... We wanted to get one step ahead of him, and we thought we might be able to find out where his base was. My thought, and this was just a theory, was that it might be somewhere near the evacuation island, the one that had that boat connected to it that I went a while, it doesn't matter. We thought that it might be there because he had killed Robert there, and we believed at the time that he had killed Lagundo there too, making us think, okay, Kim likes his island, so his base needs to be nearby. Kimberly! Oh, Kimberly. Where? This is where he killed me first time. I'm reliving his his kill. He his went up murder. this he went up this tower and threw it down at me. Kim wasn't there. There was absolutely no sign of him here either. So this was just a big waste of time. So we went back to the factory. We were really hoping that at some point we'd run into him, and because there was two of us, we could take him out. Or we just wanted to find Kim. And just as we were discussing how we were gonna do that. Kim left a message in chat saying, what's everyone doing? Oh, bingo. That's, that was good to see that. I replied with a, where are you? And he said, strolling down the street. So I said, okay, which street? He said, I don't know the namers. I don't know. I don't know namers. He, I said, where at? He said, who are you hanging out with? And I said, myself. And then Kim said, can I visit? And with that, I knew then and there that we had him. But instead of replying to him more, I just went completely silent because at this point, I wanted Kim to think that we had no interest in meeting him and that he was the one trying to meet us. That's exactly how I wanted him to be. So I didn't say anything else. I just kept silent and waited for him. Robert and I discussed what our plan of attack would be. If we just killed him on sight, it would be a waste. We'd get one heart and he'd respond back at his base and we'd have no idea where he was. No, we, we weren't going to do that. We started thinking, okay, what if we could trap this man, physically, contain him in some sort of box? You know what they say, you trap a trap a man like Kim, you got him good. So that's what that's what our plan was. So I hit Kim with a Kim 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 in chat, and I asked him, where do you want to meet? We talked more, and I told him to meet me at my farm. At first, he didn't know where that was, but after a bit of clarification, he knew exactly where it was. Meaning, Kim? Kim had been to my house before. Now, what was this guy doing walking around my farm? 
I'm going, ooh, there's a cow over here. What, what, what's, what is, what am I even saying? Okay, this plan was going to work. But we needed, uh, there was a few more moving parts that I wanted to make sure that if things went wrong, we had a backup. And that backup plan was none other than Lagundo. You see, remember earlier when Robert and I kind of, well, I mean, I, I kind of uh, jumped Lagundo a little bit. Let's kind of figure it out. This man was about to play a role in this plan. I messaged Lagundo and I said, Lagundo, you know what? It's it's time for you to, to cash. It's time for you to get to work, all right? Kim is coming to us. And what I want you to do is keep your distance. And if things go not the way for Ro that Robert and I planned and Kim somehow kills us, I want you, Lagundo, to follow Kim back to his base, but remain out of sight. Don't let him see you. And that way, we will, at the very least, will know where Kim's base is. Lagundo agreed, and the plan was set in motion. We got to the farm, climbed up the grain tower, and modified it. We opened up some holes so that we could see better. And if we see anyone who's coming from any angle, no, no surprise visitors, all right? This was going to be purely an event with me, Kim, and Robert, and Laguno from a distance. No one else needed to be involved in this, all right? If, if there's a single other person there, the plan had gone wrong. This also provided an area for Robert to sit and hide, because if Kim saw anyone else besides me, this man would run away. So Robert sat on the top of the grain tower and I went down below to test to see how visible he would be up there. But while we were doing that, I discovered that the farmhouse, it had a basement. Oh my god. Oh my god. A few blocks below my feet in the basement that, at this current time, I did not know existed of this building. This would be the scene of a gruesome murder. With everything in place, I waited for Kim to arrive, and it didn't take long. Kim? Why are you running? Because uh, I'm scared, you've killed two people. Oh, it's different now. I'm it's different, different now? Ah! What do you mean it's different now? I want to give you this horse. You want to give me a horse? Yes, so you can traverse faster. I don't need a horse, but I appreciate it. Oh, uh, I have this thing. Have a... What do you have? Put that. Have put the grenade away. Put the grenade away. What? It's a fruit smoothie. It's not a grenade. It's a fruit smoothie. Yeah, it makes you run faster. Oh, that was my that was like my backup plan. If uh, Lagundo or something was hiding here, I would run off. I don't know. Sean, have you have you laid, laid a trap here? I feel like there's TNT on the ground. There's no TNT. There's no trap. I Where's secretly Lagundo? messaged you. Huh? I secretly messaged you, but then you blew it by saying I'm here. I know that was a you know it was a Kim moment. Yeah. Okay. I will get closer. I will not kill you. I swear. Look here. If this I see, keep that, out, keep and keep any of the potions out of your hand. No, so look. That's what I was holding. I swear, I will not kill you. I'm not. I'm not Fruit bloodthirsty. Smoothie. Okay, I'll give it back to you. I want to give be on your good side, uh, and uh, maybe we help each other, and I can do you a favor. I want to do some. Maybe you have a good plan for me. Maybe I want you. I want you to take advantage of me. That's what I want. Take advantage of you? Yeah. All right, Kim. It doesn't need to go down like this. What do you mean? Just stay there. It doesn't need to go down like this. Don't run, Kim. Just stay where you are, and you won't get hurt. Robert, Don't now. Run. Don't run, Kim. I'm standing still. Stay there, Kim. Kim, Kim stand still. Stay there, Kim. I'm not moving. We got I'm you, okay? Moving. You got me. Drop the gear. Put him in the tomb, Robert. All right, Kim. Stand there. I need you. I need you to get in something, okay? Oh no! I knew this would happen. We <laughs> knew this would happen. Just give me a second, Kim. Please. Get in there. Don't do it. Please don't do this to me, guys. Please. Use me. I do anything. I do anything. Please. There we go. I would do anything. I'm gonna give him his gear back. Okay. Oh, he's free! <laughs> oh. 
Oh, do we kill him? Do we kill him? No, yeah, we take him out now. No, guys. <laughs> I can chase him down. I can I can catch him. Please, guys. Please. You should have stayed in the tomb, Kim. I don't know what to do. I don't know. I Kim. Kim, you shouldn't have ran. This just got so much worse for you, Kim. <laughs> no. Where are you going, Kim? He's going to the where are you going? Know. I don't know where I'm going. I've never been there before. Can't outrun us, Kim. How are you guys so fast? We're right behind I don't you, Kim. I know I've seen. I've seen that. I don't understand it though. He's going into the hospital. That's a huge mistake for him. Okay. <laughs> Guys, please. Get off the horse. Hook. Off the horse. Get off the horse, Kim. You cannot run. I'm out, I'm out of the horse. I'm out of the horse. Yeah. Alright, Kim. You're gonna get in the tomb like we said. Okay. <gasps> Guys, oh, it's a husk husky. zombie. Husk, husk, husk zombie. Guys, what do we do? I have so many questions right now. Come on. I'm gonna find you. Bring him back to the farm and then go to the cellar. I think this is the wrong Where, way. Where'd that tunnel go? You go 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 to the tunnel. <laughs> the highway here. Why am I helping you guys? I shouldn't help you. Well, you, you you're ours, Kim. <laughs> you're <laughs> ours. Kim, we got a plan for you. We got a nice little yeah, spot got, uh, for you. Yeah, got sat Kim. in uh in here for three days. <laughs> <laughs> uh, which way Nobody is the farm? Came. This way? Yeah, turn right. Laguna, you can come out now. Nope. You're kidding me. Keep right? going straight. We have you. But why would you say such a, such a thing? The unicorn farm. No. Not execution. You guys can't do this, mate. We're Let not me execute escape. you. No, bring him Please. to the basement. Bring him to the Please. basement. I will pay you back with something. I will go get diamonds for both of you. Yeah, Kim, go, go pick up your stuff. Where is it? Right there. Please. Come to the basement. Follow me down to the basement. Robert's going to meet us down there. Come on. Come yep, on. Go, go follow him. Oh, oh! This way. Just run past them. Okay. Stand right there. Get over to the corner. Which corner? By the TV over there. Okay. Should I use these? To, should I put the armor on me? Put the armor on you. Don't tell me you're gonna execute me. Oh, we're not gonna execute you. No, you're not. We're gonna let Legundo execute me for no. because I killed him. I can't believe any of this. Here he comes. <laughs> drink this potion. Just drink it. If I, I better not be these. You guys can kill me twice. That is not okay. Drink the potion. Drink the potion, Kim. Tomorrow's hope. Ryan, where's Ryan? There drink, you are, Ryan. Kim, Look at this. Kim, drink the potion. We're here. Drink the potion, Kim. We're here. We're here pur purely for Kim. Do not worry. I know it looks. It looks like it could be a trap for all of us. What but happened? It, is not. it really does look like a trap. I'm not. I'm not gonna lie. What happened? This was just our plan to get Kim. Uh, wait, hold on. What did, what did it do? What kind of things? Tell me. It, Pretty good. I want to know what I they did right hearts. now. What? I have more hearts. I have like three, four hearts extra. Ooh. Ooh. What did you give him? What was I that? I found a potion in a trailer, and I, it seemed like it would kill you. I got Lagundo's no, upstairs. Lagundo! Really Lagundo, get down here. Bring him down, Robert. Escort him down. Lagundo, come, come. Ryan? No, not Lagundo. Get him this out really, of there. This, re this really stinks of, like. Ryan, yes. A cult. Help, Help me. This, okay. This is around the time when, uh. I started to get a little bit carried away with, uh, this whole capture thing because. I knew Lagundo was nearby, but given what had happened in the purge, he he didn't want to come down in the basement. He kept he was keeping his distance and pretending that he wasn't nearby, but we knew he was there, and you know, he was kind of scared. This man didn't want to get I don't know. He was he didn't trust us completely based on the events of the purge, but for some reason, because I got I don't I don't know what 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 got into me, I. Uh, I wanted him to come down. Laguna, right now you have the option of walking away from here with an extra heart, or you have the option of respawning. Why is there no option of don't go into the murder basement? Because it's it's murder basement for Kim. No one else is going to be murdered here. <laughs> I'm going to get killed. I'm going to get killed. 
I'm gonna get killed. This we is have gonna no be reason. Look at no, look at no. We're all full health. There's no reason for any of us to kill you. If you die, you go to your house. We don't even know where your house is. <laughs> Those who come down here, look, everyone. Shot. The only person on the server that we want dead is this computer man right here in this tomb. How do I get in because right uh, now there's just zombies Where are you? Everywhere. Where are you? Uh, I'm on this, the roof. This right here. <laughs> oh, this have is your... such a trap! It's not Look a trap. Down. It's not a trap. Have Kim, have your weapon drop out. Kim, stop. Have your weapon Kim, out stop. and just Kim. come down here. Kim. Oh, sorry. Sean, yeah, I, you also Sean. promised me you were oh my, my brother, Shadow. <laughs> My I know, but, nether bro. But I heard We're all here for one thing, Legundo. That's it. Look. Look who we have. Oh my god. Look at him. Look who we got in the corner. No! Get the man away from me! Whoa, 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 whoa. Wait a minute. Oh, he killed him. Uh oh. He hit the ground too hard. How? I knew it. <gasps> that wasn't what? part of the plan. Sean? Sean. Oh no, I'm scared. Oh, I don't trust Sean that either. That wasn't part of the plan. Sean? Who? <laughs> what I miss? That wasn't oh, part of the plan. <laughs> what I miss? What happened? Uh, what are you getting with? Here's what's gonna happen. Kim, Where grab your stuff. Happen? What's, Kim what's going on here? here. Wait, 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 Lagundo's stuff is all right there. Yeah, and it's mine now. Kim, grab Lagundo's stuff. What did I miss? What happened? Oh, oh, wow. Uh, what okay. the heck? Now, Kim, uh, come back down here. Uh, uh, um... I don't feel safe. I don't feel safe. Kim, fight I've got to the death I've, right now. Sorry, I've got it. Sorry. sorry, wait, what did you say? Fight right. You want to fight me to the death? You want right to fight me to the death? Fight me to the death. Fight me to the death. Dare. I, I don't- I don't really want to fight him either. Me and Brian on good terms. When I flood the basement, I ran back to Robert's restaurant. I made- I, I made sure no one was looking, alright? I looked around. I made sure- No, I was not followed. And then I went in. I was talking to Robert via whisper, and I was trying to get a gauge on the situation. I was thinking that these- These people were gonna kill me. I thought that they wanted me dead. So I said to Robert, Robert? Kill them all. Find an opportunity and kill them all. But Robert, but Robert wouldn't do it. He was too scared. But I wanted, I, I, I needed, I, I wanted blood, okay? I wanted everyone dead. So, I, I ran back to the factory. I'm to tickle you. I'm not going to tickle you. He's not. This is his base. That's, That's my base, Jim. He's here. Welcome. Welcome, everyone. Oh, there's Sean. Hey, Sean. Hello. So confused? Oh, hey! Stay, stay out of throwing distance. I'm yeah. not gonna hit yeah. anyone. Agreed. None of you need to die. So, Sean, what, what we're here for is we just need to, need to know what, what the hell just happened. I'll explain to you like, all explain it. why Lagundo died there. Yeah, I wasn't Lagundo there. was never supposed to kill Kim. Yeah, I saw that. You threw him in Interpol. Kim was gonna fight Lagundo to the death. Huh? That's what was gonna happen. Well, he didn't mm -hmm. listen. I he, I listened. Yes, Kim listened, which is why. I mean, you died, but that wasn't part of the Kim, plan. you didn't listen. You tried to run away just because we could catch you on your horse. <laughs> the first time I was very cooperate after that, after I realized you guys... Yeah. Yeah, after you realize you couldn't do anything, then you club. <laughs> yeah. So now it's very likely that Lagundo's gonna come after me. He trusts me. Shadow, Shadow assured him it was safe. <laughs> I assured him it was safe. Yeah, Ryan assured, I assured him, him it was safe. Was safe. Uh, Kim pleaded too. for his life. I had no intent yeah, I did. on making Lagundo die there. I thought for sure it'd be an easy kill for Lagundo on Kim. It was. He came down and started shooting him. I know. Which is why he had to die. I had ender pearls. I tried to escape, but then I. Uh, oh, that's what I killed you. That's what killed Kim. The Lug ender pearl. Lagundo got the heart, and then I got the heart from Lagundo. Yeah. So here's I, what's gonna like... happen. This is only right. 
I don't like this. It's Sean. <laughs> Are we sleeping? I think kill he's me. killing kill himself. Kill me, Ryan. Okay, everyone back up. Oh. Is that one yeah, yeah, don't run into that. Kim, you use that on me, okay? <laughs> don't act like yeah. you don't know what it is. <laughs> Yeah, but I, I, yeah, but I didn't know like how like if you can walk into it or like it's still. Like, oh, I, don't I wouldn't walk into it. Yeah. I was waiting for them to stand close enough together that I could kill them all in one single throw. I was waiting for the the absolute perfect moment, and then it finally came when I told them that they could use my ender chest if they wanted. All of them stood right on the chest, and I had them perfectly lined up, but I couldn't do it. I couldn't bring myself to killing them all. But you know what? I won't make that mistake again. Later that day when I logged back onto the server, I was I was feeling like a very the world's most guilty man. Felt very, very bad about kind of uh killing Lagundo in cold blood, murdering a man in the in the basement. So as an apology of sorts, I offered Lagundo a gift. I told him that I'd bury some high value items underneath a slot machine in the casino. So I grabbed some stuff, including my my beautiful trident. Remember that thing? I was, I, was, I was feeling so guilty that I offered my trident to a man and I put it in a chest and buried it under a slot machine in the casino. After that, I went over to Robert's house and Robert, whew, Robert had been a busy man. Very, very busy man. Look at this man's chest full of grenades. This, yeah, this was... Uh, look how many he had. He also had a, fa a zombie farm set up. Uh, th this man was just doing well. At some point, he had given me some diamonds too, but honestly, I, I don't remember when that was. I've... And I don't want to make my man Wisefish sift through all like 60 hours of footage I have to find. Don't bother doing that, Wisefish. All right, you include this in the video. You don't. You don't need to. I don't know what happened. Right, it happened at some point. He gave me six diamonds, and uh, so I made a diamond pickaxe. Robert also made some modifications to the restaurant. Look. Thank <laughs> <laughs> you, <guy. laughs> That's good. Robert had a plan. He wanted to booby trap a building and kill someone. Me being. I'm honestly somewhat of a psychopath at this point in this. I thought, you know what? Excellent idea, Robert. I'm, I'm all for it. In fact, I'll give you anything you need to do that. I would love to be a part of something like that. So we you know, we set out to do that. But the thing is that we needed a few more supplies. We needed redstone. And I had told Robert that the lighthouse, oh, okay, you want redstone? You go to the lighthouse, all right? That place is loaded with redstone. Tons of stuff up there. So we went up and we got some. And then I jumped off the lighthouse and I, I didn't expect there to be a fish on this server. What is that? There's a guardian down there. Oh! Oh! Why is there a guardian? I don't know. Come on. Oh god, I'm gonna die. Come on, what are you doing? I'm gonna die. Why are you fighting it? I killed it, I killed it. Are you just trying to fight a guardian? <laughs> I don't know why. <laughs> The next part of the plan was to find somewhere to booby trap, and where we selected was very crucial. We needed somewhere that wasn't completely obvious, but somewhere that was obvious enough that they would figure it out. So somewhere kind of recognizable, and we thought, you know what? Theme park. That, that's, that has to be the best place to do something like this. We had the absolute perfect plan, okay? We were going to booby trap one of the bathroom stalls in the theme park. So that when uh, someone walked in there and opened up the stall door, boom, grenade straight in the face. So simple. What wasn't simple was setting this thing up because the zombies, they were getting a little bit annoying. They were getting really, they were much quicker now and they were large groups of them harassing us. This was kind of tricky. Come in. Come in. I think they can break bricks. We I'm can, scared we can get to get out in here. Way. Okay. But eventually, Robert got it working. Robert? Yeah, it's all set. I just need to put the grenade in. Alright, throw it in. Let's go to the radio tower and make the announcement. And the final part of the plan was for Robert to set out a radio transmission. Hey, um, uh, I'm here in the radio tower and I just wanted to get this out to anyone that's, uh, you know, um, still alive. I found a tape and listened to it myself, but I didn't really, uh, I, I just didn't know what to make of it. Uh, I'll just put the damn thing in so you can listen. If thrills and desires are what you seek, go to a place where it can be Tom McPeak, Emmanuel Seniors and Sims, 
but probably no tricks. But a treasure can't be any nearer. It was a few hours later when I got back online, and the only other two people online were Shadow and Sneeve. Both of them were in the process of trying to decipher Robert's riddle. They were in the suburbs of the non-destroyed city, so uh, I made my way over. Traveling was a bit more difficult now because of how fast the zombies were getting. It, it wasn't too dangerous if you had enhanced speed like I did, but if you stopped paying attention for even just a second, you could you'd very easily die, so I had to be careful. Also to be careful that uh, Shadow and Steve weren't, you know, they weren't planning something, like uh, uh, lying to me about uh, not knowing the answer to the riddle and then gently guiding me directly to a rigged up toilet stall. That would, uh, yeah, that would be awful. So I got to the suburb, found them, and started to <clears throat> solve uh, the riddle with them. Okay, so you're looking for what are you, what, peeping Tom. A peeping Tom. A I where thought a peeping Tom would lie. Or something. I thought there was a treehouse in this town, but there's not. And we we were thinking a place with sinks uh, and mirrors, but no drinks. We were thinking a bathroom. Ah, that's good. So I was when I heard peeping Tom, I thought of the newspaper people. These are like. That's where I was. Oh, the ge the paparazzi. Yeah. Oh, we tried the girls' locker room at the school, but there's nothing oh, there. Shadow. <laughs> no, no, you tried the girls' locker room. <laughs> oh, I just, I just figured, you know, it was teenage boys, like, you know. Yeah. I, I tried, I, was, I tried to stop him, but he was like, oh hello. Shadow's like, get me in oh, there. Wait. <laughs> Let's just go to Shadow's base. Maybe that's for the price. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> that's right. He's got a beeline straight to the locker room. <laughs> looking through, looking through the vents. Uh oh. So I, I was thinking, uh, so there's a movie theater when it, it says oh. if thrills are what you seek. Maybe. Yes. So it's, the only thing is that mirrors and sinks doesn't fit at all. The 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 I think you guys are right with washroom. That to me sounds right. But maybe there's yeah. like. Is there like a water? I don't know. Um, I don't know well, about what about thing. what about the uh, there is a bathroom the amusement park? No. Oh, oh. The amuse yeah, that's a good idea. And there'll be a bathroom at the amusement park as well. Yeah. All right. He might have cracked it. He might have cracked we it. Can can we uh, stop at the, the maybe we stop at the drive-in on the way? Where where is the? Yeah, I don't know where it is on the map. The amusement park's right by my... where the scene of the crime was. The, uh, <laughs> the, <laughs> the crime. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, maybe it's the amusement park. Yeah, I would I would bet on the amusement park. I think I think that's the... the it takes so many boxes, that one. Alright, here it is. Alright. Oh, here are the restrooms. Men or women? Who are they gonna peep and tom on? Oops. Nothing in here. Here's the burger. Shadow. Yeah. You find something? Oh, it's my restrooms. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Nothing in this one. Don't be coming. Oh! Oh! I... I don't know. No, oh, come on. Oh my god, no. What's up? I just hit a grenade. Did you die? No, I'm alive. Don't go in, don't come in, don't come in, don't come in. Okay. Come in. The chef's kiss, that's my sword. Sayonara, boys! <laughs> okay. <laughs> oh! Sneeve! Oh, Sneeve, where you at? Sneevy boy! Sneeve! There was two grenades there! 
Sneeve. That other grenade was meant for you. I ran back to the restaurant. I was very, very careful not to go inside because if I was being chased, I didn't want anyone knowing where this restaurant was. So I sat there for a few moments, typing in chat to both Sneeve and Shadow, warning them that if I saw them again, I would not hesitate to kill them. But while I was doing this, I noticed something not too far from Robert's restaurant. Through the darkness, I saw a small, lit up island. I, went over. I wasn't sure whose island this is, but after talking in chat for a few moments, I realized it was Sneeves. So I took what I wanted from the chest, broke the ender chest, and blew up the entire island. Okay, you yeah, might be thinking that a man like me has lost his mind, gone crazy, but I'll tell you what right now. This right here, I needed to do something like this, okay? I got the, there's no way I was gonna let the, I, I, you know what, I don't know how to justify my actions, but I just, you know what, I did it, alright? When it's done, is done, so we're gonna just move on from this. Imagine using that as your defense in court. Okay, anyways, I wanted to also strike Shadow while I could. Uh, but to do this, I didn't want to lose all of my stuff since there was a, li uh, a, a large probability that I would die trying to go after Shadow. So I stowed a bunch of my valuable supplies in the ender chest on Sneeve's Island before I blew it up. And then I made my way over to Shadow's Tower. I climbed up, got inside, and told him that I was going to blow it up. But I was bluffing. I started to feel bad. Yeah, I should have done it. You know what? Watching this footage back, I should have done it. Instead, I just sat on the roof and waited for him. I, yeah, I was dead, but you know what? I was fine because my message, my message was made. This, this was going to be a war. I needed to get back to Robert's base, but I was, I was very far and with a fresh batch of mutated zombies, no gear, and uh, pretty much everyone on the server wanting to kill me, uh, getting there was not going to be... It was all going to be very easy, okay? It was going to be a little bit difficult, uh, so... I just needed to make my way to the factory first, which wasn't too far, and then get some gear, and then make my way over. But someone had booby-trapped the factory. <sighs> oh, man, someone almost got me with that. Oh. Oh. Okay, so they put traps in my house. Wow. Okay, I'm gonna be honest. I that might have been me. I'm known to just dig random holes, so yeah, it could have been me. I don't know. I got my stuff and I made my way over to Robert's house, but there was a problem. Robert, stay away from me, Sean. What the hell happened here? I I know what you did. I didn't do this. I know you did it. Robert, stay away from me. No, no, no. I don't trust you anymore. No, honest, honestly, I didn't do this. Stay away from me. Robert. Robert. I don't trust you. I will show you all of my recordings. You can just not record something. I, I swear to you, I didn't do this. My plan, my entire plan hinges on you and I trusting each other. I swear to you, I didn't do this. I gotta come in, I gotta come in, I'm gonna get killed. All my stuff's downstairs with all the zombies. Was it blown up? No, it was a pressure plate. Like, you walked in and it was a trap? Yeah. So someone was in here. Okay. Did you tell anyone about where your house was? No, you're the only person that knew. Okay, I'm telling you right now, they said they knew where your house was last night. I have it recorded. You survived though? Yeah, I'm, I'm alive. Okay, that's good. I, I, everything you're asking right now, I, I don't trust you right now. I, I, Robert, I'm telling you the truth right now. I promise you, 
I did not do this. We can't let them. We can't let them tear each other, tear us apart. You're tearing everyone apart. No, I'm not tearing everyone. Yeah, apart. you are. You got everyone against me too now. Well, yeah, we gotta have the good guys versus the bad guys. I gotta get all my stuff. I'm not here, here, I'll help you get it. I'll get. I'll get all their attention. And then you no, can they're, they're gonna go down to my hole. Okay, I'll stand down there with you. Okay. Is Kim on? No. Why are you okay. asking these qu crazy questions? You're asking weird questions. What? I'm you're asking, asking you're being weird. I don't like I'm it. I'm not being weird. I swear to you, I'm not being weird. I told you everything that happened last night. I'm 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 just most upset about my totem being gone. Do you want me to get it back? I wanna I wanna steal it back from Melinda. Okay, well do you think he did you did you see that? Did you talk and play with him last night? I talked with Shadow and Legundo, I met them. And he had the totem. He didn't have it on him. He wasn't using it. Then it's probably still the casino. I'll go. I'll go try to get it. Wait, wait, wait. no, no, no! Don't leave me. What? Okay, I'm gonna stay with you. I have a feeling you're plotting against me. Uh, Robert, I, I got it. We have to trust each other for this whole thing to work. If we want to make it out of here alive, we have to trust each other. I have, I have no reason to lie to you right now. I have nothing to gain from dis deceiving you. There's been so many times where I could have killed you. Even even when I arrived here, I was strapped with like seven grenades on me. And I could have just thrown them down. If it was me who truly set the TNT trap, while you were recovering there, I could have thrown the grenade in. Because you're online, I could have taken everything and I could have ran away extremely fast. It's weird, you said you'd be at my house in one minute. And then I'll show you where I stopped. I stopped to loot something. I got four grenades, there's probably more in there. Which I want to get to them before someone else gets them. Also, last night I wouldn't have told you about my plan. Where we're gonna rename potions different things with Anvil. Uh, I don't know if I want to show you my house. <laughs> you, you don't have to. I, 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 I wish I could somehow prove to you. Do you want me to let you kill me? Give you a heart? No, no, no. I don't, that doesn't prove anything. The point is, I'm not- there's no- there's no play, there's no reason for me to deceive you. All that does is depletes me of one ally when I'm fighting five guys right now. Again, I could've- like, I wouldn't have told you about my plan to rename potions. I don't know who bombed Robert's base or how they found it, but if someone did, I'm gonna be very curious to watch their video and figure out how they found out that our base was here, because I- okay, you saw, I looked, I made sure no one followed me. There's no way someone followed me. I- I was- Robert now thought that I had something to do with this, and he didn't trust me, which was a huge problem, because if I wanted to get out of the city alive, I was gonna need Robert. We fled the restaurant and went out looking for Kim. He said that he needed help, desperately, and if there was gonna be a war, we were gonna need numbers. We told Kim that we could help him on the condition that if we did, he was with us no matter what. He was going to fight in the war on our side, and he agreed, so we went to help him. He told us that he was living in some apartment buildings near the factories, so we went over and started looking for it. It took a couple of in-game days to make it there, and we had to kill a lot, I mean a lot of fast zombies, but we made it. Oh yeah. Oh, there's holes in the ground. Enchanting table, beds, there's lava, his stuff is right there. He had a beacon, what the hell? <laughs> I'm, ta I'm taking the beacon. <laughs> so the, the beacon didn't make it. <laughs> Drop it! Oh my goodness! Oh, oh my You're goodness, safe now, Kim. Safe? Your stuff's in the chest. Oh, thank you. You got, the, you got to pick up the top all chest more? is mine. <gasps> help me, help me, help me, help me. I cannot. I have the thing. Oh, they're coming up, they're coming up. They're breaking the floor, they're breaking the floor. All right, Kim. It's time to move. Us. Yeah, yeah, I gotta get some other stuff. Like, uh, what happened to the diamonds? Do I have that still? They're still in the chest. Didn't take them. Oh yeah, there we go. All right, Kim. You don't forget this. No, I will never forget this. Otherwise, this is, if it, if it were for you two, this would be the end of my video. <laughs> 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 Not even joking. You had died many times. <laughs> what do you mean my you gift. Forget? Does I'll leave that in there for you. Robert. Kim, did you oh. play last night? Uh, I played, uh, I didn't play last night when you, I don't know what happened last night. Did Why is there a bounty on you? Why is there a bounty on you, Sean? 
What happened? Are you gonna try to redeem that bounty, Kim? No, I just want to know what happened. I killed everyone. You oh. killed everyone? <laughs> <laughs> Did you really, Rob? Is, I, is Rob? Robert's hands are also bloody too, so let's not. I didn't. I didn't kill anyone per se. <laughs> Please. Kim. Yes. The the payment for saving you was those two grenades to Robert. Oh. Robert Please, lost all. Robert lost all of his grenades. He needs some. Yes. Someone said a trap in my house, Kim. TNT blew everything up. And we want to know if you know anything about that. No, but this is my first time hearing about that. <laughs> <laughs> Neither Kim, Robert, or I had a base at this point. We we had nowhere to go. The restaurant was compromised because now everyone had you know, well, known where it was. I didn't have a base. I mean, the factory. Who cares about the factory? There's nothing in there. And Kim's. I don't know why. What Kim was thinking, building his base here, didn't zombie-proof it. So just like season three of The Walking Dead, we went out to find somewhere. At first, I suggested maybe, <laughs> hey, you know, let's go live in Walmart. How funny would it be if we stayed in the Walmart? You want to? You want to do that? Live in the Walmart, or it I don't know. It, it, this is a notorious place to get overrun. You guys want to open? Oh my God! What is that noise? That's Kim playing the drums. Okay, we're no, there's no way we're going to live in Walmart, all right? I'm not being the Walmart boys. There's no, no way that's happening. So we started looking around more. We were thinking, where is safe? Where is open so that we can see people coming? And where looks cool? The three criteria must be met. Otherwise, we won't live in there. And after debating a few possible locations and going back and forth, we settled on the perfect place. Okay, there's Here the it farm. is, boys. A beautiful farm. The farm. Oh, look at all the bread we can make. Oh my! No, that's not weed. Oh, look at this place. Oh yeah. <laughs> not weed. Home sweet home. There's a few zombies in the. Oh <laughs> my god. <laughs> this is oh, look at the the things moving. Oh, we gotta. Wait, that's that's just. That that's needs right. to stop. Yeah, we gotta turn that off right now. No. The tank in here. Oh, oh my goodness. What? Someone was living here. Someone was living here? Yeah. How do you know? Look at look at this chest, dude. Look at these chests. Oh yeah. Oh, well, it's ours now. I don't know how to destroy that like at all. If we wanted this farm to be safe, we were going to need to clear out some of the crops. Problem was, was the zombies were extremely fast. And running around in tall grass with uh, fast zombies is, a uh, Ooh, that's kind of, that was spooky. The zombies were becoming a problem. They were, they were extremely fast. And with my absolutely horrible internet, you know, you, you never know what could happen, right? It was stressing me out. The hordes were getting longer, or larger. They were following you for further. And it, it just wasn't becoming safe. And this windmill was going to be difficult to secure. But, but, we found a way to fight back. If you dig a pit and then put trap doors on it, the zombies will fall into the hole. And if you get enough of them to sit inside of that hole, it will cause the other zombies in the area to not spawn because yeah, I, I didn't word that correctly. But if there's enough zombies in the pit, zombies the spawn speed slows down because the game has already made it. It doesn't matter. We started just digging these holes and setting trap doors up. I was feeling good about this alliance. I felt like Robert, Kim, and I were going to make it out. Robert had absolutely no reason to betray me. I was not planning on betraying Robert. And Kim, Kim owed us his life. There was no reason for any one of us three to betray the other three and pull any sort of funny business. But you know what? One of these two had been actively playing both sides. Yeah, yeah, one of them was lying. As you watch the rest of this video, you know, you know what I want you to do? As you watch the rest of this video, try to figure out whether it was Robert or Kim who was lying through their teeth and playing both sides. See if you can figure it out and leave a comment because you know what? I had no idea, all right? You kind of couldn't believe it. For now, I logged out and I think I went to pizza. First. When I got back on, Robert was still there. Sean, what are you doing? Oh, I was seeing if you were here. I was running around. Oh. Anything change? Uh, I could talk to you about some stuff. Come up into the house. Oh my god, there's like holes in this wall. So. 
Shadow, I talked to Shadow, and he tried to kill me. My totem went off, you know, all that. So yeah. I tried to talk to him again today. It was just me and him on, and I, I tried to, like, clear up my name sort of thing. Yeah. He said that you said that I want to kill Shadow and Sneed before, no. before the whole thing happened. No, that didn't happen. He also told me that Kim said that you told him that you're going to kill Robert. That nope. you're going to blow him sky high. Nope, didn't say any of that. So Shadow has been either A, lying about a lot of things, or you and Kim are plotting something against me. Shadow is absolutely lying. He, he when I, after I did the thing, um, he said something similar to me about you. He said that you were planning on killing me. And so at this point, I, I, I don't trust a lot of things. I, it's hard for me to know who's telling the truth in a lot of these situations. Yeah, I'm sure. I'm sure a lot of a lot of things are. There's a, there's well, been a lot of lies going around. I didn't care about who said what or what who was working with who or any of that. My philosophy was simple. If I saw Lagundo, Shadow, or Sneeve, I would kill them on sight. If I saw Ryan, you know what? We'll see what happens with Ryan, all right? Ryan, Ryan's the man the man without a plan right now, it seemed like. Ryan was the man who was barely surviving. So Ryan, I, I would give him a pass, but I don't know. It has to be a war. It doesn't have to be. We can work together to the end and yeah, all that, escape together. Yeah, that's boring, though. Yeah, but that'd be that'd be such a plot twist at this point. No, no, no. I want to I want to kill them all. Just throw off the edge. The stone sword. I want to kill them all. I want I want to take all their hearts. Other humans weren't even the biggest threat. The threat right now was the brutal lag I was getting using my satellite internet because I live in the middle of nowhere. I know. Get up. Get get up. Get upstairs. I'm up. I'm up. I'm up. I'm, I'm taking damage. I For once, I, I do you know I actually mean this when I say this. This death did not count. Okay. The, 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 there's no way I'm counting that death. Truly, that one, that one was. I did nothing wrong there. So if you see Forge Lab Sean died at some point in someone else's video at this point in the video, it doesn't count. Okay. I'm, I'm making that very clear right now. I undid the death. I undid it. I gave myself a heart back. Don't worry about it, okay? The zombies were becoming the real threat. And the windmill was, you know, it was starting to seem like it was, wasn't as safe as we thought it was. And I think at some point, I don't know if it was now or if it was in a day or two in-game, someone found out where it was, okay? There, there was problems with the windmill, okay? And we were realizing, you know what? Maybe we shouldn't live in a giant windmill with this giant thing spinning and all these problems. And I mean, like, the zombies were constantly getting inside and there was tight corners and dead ends and they, we were just going to get killed here. No. Legitimately, Robert and I were were we were barely getting by, but you know what? That didn't stop us because we were we were gonna make a move on Shadow. Robert had gotten intel that Shadow had moved his base from the volcano. Yeah, there's there's a volcano on the map, uh, and that. He, he was probably living in the volcano, which, you know, wouldn't be a bad idea because you got lava all around you. And, I mean, how, how are the zombies going to get through lava, right? Can't do it. They, they burn up. And if you But you, as a human with a, with a proper brain, you can think, okay, I'm going to walk over the lava. They can't figure that out. Too stupid. So it seemed like a really good place. So we thought, you know what? Why don't we remove the lava? But on our way there, we, uh, we ran into Ryan. Ryan, my man, how's it going? Hey, Sean, how you doing? I assume you uh, knew where my base was, because uh, Robert, but... Oh no, Robert too. Yep. I, uh, I saw two name tags. I, I didn't even know that there was a bounty until Lagundo swung by and said that there was one. But I don't have any grenades or anything, so I'll just back away from the door if you want to come on in. Oh, uh, I think like, we're going all the way here. back. Alright. I'll, uh, I'll just stay close to the door then, so then I can, so I can see you. What do you want? You want some iron? Or, you got buckets? Uh, I've got two buckets. <laughs> There you go. Thank you. Oh, absolutely. I appreciate it. Here, have a beer. Ooh, fun stuff. All right. Good luck. Yeah. Yeah. Do you need anything else? Yeah. Uh, not have... yet, but we might later. We might come back and have a chat with you in a little bit. All right. If you uh, if you need anything, just let me know. Hey, Ryan. Love that guy. What's he? What was he up to? I have no idea. I'm very curious to watch his video. My man, Ryan. This guy is a. Uh... 
I don't know. Anyways, we got to the volcano. So it's way at the top of the base, so we're, we're good from here. Yeah, but can you see us with the name tags? No, it's, it's, he's further. This, this isn't going to be good if he's there. So we have to do it and then run. Robert, we got a hot one. What do you mean? Husk. We need we need to build over his base. Yeah. Take out the husk. Th things were falling apart. At one point, Shadow, I saw his name tag. I had no idea what I was doing. I was still battling my absolutely horrible internet. I was, I felt like a man playing, I may as well be, you know what, I was, about to, I was about to make a joke saying I may as well be playing this game from Mars. I was playing it from space. I, 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 every time I made a move in the game, went to space, came back down to Earth. That's how I was using the internet here. How can a man play it, it, Minecraft in space and, and expect to win? How is that, how does that work? Anyway, so, yeah, I, I, I don't know. I just took off and I got, as soon as I saw Shadow's name played, I ran. And I messaged Robert and I explained to him that, you know, this is this is going to be tough for a man like me, all right? But he said, okay, calm down, relax, we can figure this out. So we, we grew, regrouped, met back up, and uh, started figuring things out. Crazy. Hey. Let's go. Yeah, he, I when I logged back in, I saw him running around down there. Yeah, I didn't I didn't see him. I was towering over him. Like, I was, I was building out, I built out a, a long plank <laughs> to try to drop water straight on his house. But no, Did I you? didn't, because he was there. Uh, so I stopped and I tried to break it all, but I thought he was coming out because he snuck. So I didn't see him anymore, and then yeah, I thought he was gonna come out, so I ran. No, so there's blocks it's... above his house. Well, that's good. It just sends a message. We didn't want to go back to the windmill. That you know that place. That, that place was horrible. Zombies were getting inside of it constantly. Or like I said, there's dead ends, there's random holes in the floor. There was tight corner. The place just was not safe. Probably the most unsafe place on the entire map, and we had trying to make a base there. Not to mention, at some point while I was offline, someone else found out where the windmill was, got inside, and emptied Robert's chest, and Kim's chest, and not my chest, because at this point I had no belongings, or I didn't keep them in the windmill, because why would I keep them there? I was foolish of Robert and Kim. And for some reason, Robert thought it might have been me. Robert, if you're watching this video, I, I, you can see right here, right now, I did not take your stuff out of the chest, all right? I'm a man, I'm an innocent man, very, very innocent man. So anyways, Robert and I thought, okay, you know what, let's get out of this windmill. windmill. Why are we living in a windmill? What are they? Windmill boys will leave, right? So yet again, we decided to move, and we had the, finally we had the perfect place in mind. And I'm glad I'm glad we figured this out at the end of the event. We thought, you know what? Why don't we go to the stadium? Well, well, not inside the stadium because you know what happened in there before. But what about outside the stadium? What about the parking lot? It was open, secluded, and easy enough to secure. We'd build a, a, a primarily base focused on zombie defense and not so much player defense because honestly, at this point, they, everyone else on the server was way too scared to come up to us. At least that's what I was thinking. And so I thought, okay, you know what? Don't worry about people. Let's make this base zombie proof. The plan was simple. A square tower with zombie pits all around the perimeter and then we'd use trapdoors so they'd fall in the pit and hopefully the pits would fill up and no zombies would spawn in the area and the whole place would be safe. So we built it. Next, we need a better gear, specifically diamond gear. So we started digging the world's deepest pit. We, we dug straight into the ocean, because I guess the stadium was built over one, and uh, you know, it's fine, we just sealed it up and kept digging down. So it was all good, me and Robert, we were calling the, the boys who dig down, that's what everyone was calling us, so it was really good. And it wasn't long until my man Robert started finding diamonds. I mean, the man was finding lots of them. Straight down. Straight down's the way to go. Hey, so we, diamonds. You got diamonds? Two diamonds. More diamonds for Robert, I found diamonds for Robert. Uh, where'd you find more diamonds? Oh yeah, look, look, look at that. What? Just 
Oh, just, oh, just hit one block and there's there's a diamond there. All right. That's enough out of you. I got no torch. Finding diamonds with buffer. Oh my god, I hit the mother load on this one. There's just there's Your kid's diamonds stuck. here. What do you mean stop? You don't want me to find the diamonds? I want to find some. I'm giving. I literally just. I, I know, but it. I want the excitement of going, oh, I find diamonds with Sean. Yeah, I just wanted to make you feel better. I've just been finding a lot of diamonds. I don't have torch on my pickaxe. I've been finding a lot of iron, so. Hey, diamonds. You're kidding me. Two diamonds. You're not, you're, there's no way you I, found 30 diamonds I don't, in I don't have fortune. Let me see your pickaxe. Yeah, I get out of my see. diamonds. There we go. The, oh! <laughs> Wait, you actually just, I told yeah, you, I told come you. Come on, come on, mind that. We came back up and made more gear, and uh, I made the walls higher. I was liking the look of our tower. You know, it was kind of cozy, and... Yeah, I mean, it was just a square box. I don't know why I wrote that in the script. I was liking the look of it. No, I wasn't. And it wasn't cozy. It was just a square room. Why, why would I write? Anyways, by this point, I was hoping to have some sort of serious compound, like the prison from The Walking Dead or Alexandria. But, uh, you know what? Parking lot with Robert and Gim in a 5x5 five five square. So, uh, it's got to do, right? So, I spent the next couple of in-game days trying to make the place look a little bit nicer by replacing some of the walls with deep slate and adding some wood to the corners and adding trim and... I think we got new lights in there. We're just trying to make the place look a little bit better because but realistically, that's not the top priority. The top priority right now is getting ourselves safe. Safe, protected, get good gear, and getting ourselves in a position where we can start killing people. And that's what, that's what we needed to be doing. As I watch this footage back, I, I noticed that I have a new sword. I have no idea where in the 60 hours of footage I found that sword was because honestly, halfway through this, I just stopped taking notes. Um, which is just stupid on my part. I'll never make that mistake again. This was this was an absolute brutal script to write. I'm gonna tell you that right now. It was this was you know who cares, right? I'm writing. It doesn't matter. I found this sword at some point. Really good sword. Makes you move very quickly. And I the thing is, is when you use it with the chest piece, you move extremely fast. I didn't want to risk losing both of these at once. I was very careful when I brought both out. I thought. If I lose one, if I lose both, I'm done. I'm done. I'm a dead man. So it doesn't matter. Anyways, I found this sword, right? That's why I have it now. Okay. Anyways, while I was working on the base, Kim did something stupid and tied somewhere and lost all of this stuff. I don't know. I don't know how he did this. So go watch his video. You'll probably say something like, "Oh my goodness, can you believe this? I walked into 50 zombies and they bit me. How could they do this to me?" <laughs> I gotta stop doing. This. Anyway, so we, we went to go get his stuff for him. It was outside the military base, and we didn't want anything to do with that place at all. But uh, when a man like Kim goes down, you gotta help him. And speaking of helping, t take a... You know, I've done a lot of bad stuff in this simulation where I've killed innocent people, I've murdered people, I've made them trust me, and then I've betrayed... I've done a lot of bad stuff, but you know what? I've also done a lot of good stuff, okay? You focus on the good things, like here, when I'm helping Kim retrieve his stuff, right? Don't worry about the murders, don't worry about the theft, you just worry about this, right? Okay? Uh, any anyways, uh, here's Robert and I saving Kim stuff. Okay. Oh yeah, look. All this stuff is on that one zombie. On the shield? It's zombified Kim. Yeah, it's zombified Kim. Nope. I think he died here, yeah, yeah. Oh yeah, enchanting table. Okay, yeah, get this stuff. Meanwhile, while we were doing that, Kim was working on the base, and I asked him to make it look nice, like he does in all of his videos, where he makes really nice stuff and makes a whole video about how great this new ancient city, or whatever, the Pokemon, uh, he, this man is very good at building things, so I thought, alright, we're gonna get Kim to build us a beautiful base while we're out retrieving his stuff. But, but when I got back, look, he, this guy had done basically nothing. He added a small floor, I mean, just look at him standing there. Alright. I truly cannot believe you. <laughs> <laughs> I can't believe you did this, Kim. Yeah, I kind of believe it. I did it either. <laughs> and also, look what he did to Robert and I. Sun's up. Let's go. Yes. So you, I give you this, and you give him Ender Pearl. I, ex I do not accept. I don't have Ender Pearl. <laughs> what if I did? Believe me, I take that you, trade immediately. You give me Ender Pearl right now, okay? There you go, Kim. Oh, nice. Okay, I, I will give you my off. favorite drink, Robert, for that. There you go. I got this beer, it's gonna poison me. Alright, I will drink Should it. I, uh, let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go, kill this guy. I'm a bit drunk right now. Kim, did you drink the beer? I did. <laughs> Baby zombie behind you. Oh no. Oh! It's so fast! Kill. Oh! 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 <gasps> Thank you.
Oh, Kim. that was that was an accident. Kim. That was an accident. I was trying to shoot a bow. <laughs> that was an accident. <laughs> this is good. This is good. This is good. This is a good thing. <laughs> I was trying to I shoot my they, bow. I, I hope they saw that. <laughs> get it. Get it. Get it. Sean, get the stuff before the zombie does. Kim, say something like that'll teach you or something. I can't believe this. Yeah, <laughs> I was aiming with the bow and then I slipped. <laughs> <laughs> to my wrong. I don't know even how that happened. I think if you guys look at the footage, you see I was aiming and then suddenly I just whoop. It's a miracle I didn't kill myself, to be honest. They, he, they, it was a mistake, but you know what? We, this man, Kim, how do you play with a man like this? You know what? Was it a mistake? I don't know. He says it. Anyways, for some reason, I lost not one, but two hearts. And I didn't realize that till now when I'm watching the video. So I just, I, hey, that's good. You know, lose two hearts when uh, two for one. Perfect. Love that. Anyways, this wasn't all bad news because at some point, and I kind of, I'm going to be honest, I forgot to write it into the script. Um, Should have done that a little bit while ago. Uh, Sneeve had made a radio announcement putting a bounty out on my head. Anyone who killed me would get golden apples, and because, well, they had no idea that we were working with Kim, and it was just broadcast in the chat that Kim had killed me and Robert with a grenade, we thought, you know what? Kim, why don't you go cash in on that bounty, which yep. opened up the perfect opportunity for us, Robert and I, to take another look at Shadow's volcano base while he presumably went with Sneeve to give Kim his reward. So that was the plan. Oh god, what if this is Kim's plan all along? Accidentally kill us? With a grenade? And then go and join them and tell them where we are? When we're coming to attack? Yeah, yeah that would be... Uh... And tell them where our base is? I don't think Kim would do that. Oh, 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 secret. Hold on, burn it all, burn it all. Watch out, watch out, watch out, watch out. Okay, I'm going down here. Can we rig this somehow? Let's wait in here, let's wait in here for him to come back. Find his bed. He has hidden walls. He's probably coming back that way, Robert. <clears throat> It was rigged. His front door was rigged. Yeah. Robert. He left. He left. Like, sh He's coming he left back the now? island. He's coming back, I think. Okay. What should we do? Should we wait for him and then break this? Him? Break this. Hold on. Oh my god. This door, he had hidden a fake fake rock wall on it. So we need to seal it back up. I was just full, my inventory was full. Why do we need to seal it back up? You know it's he'll know, in his face. He'll know we're in here, because I replaced it with this. Like oh. he's gonna see the- No, no, you don't understand. It looked like rock, right? Yeah. So it was fake, so when he comes back, and he's probably gonna enter through this way, he's gonna see that there's cobblestone there and know that we're in here. I think this is his exit. I don't think he's gonna. No, I, there's no way he's gonna climb over the mountain to get in. This, th I, I went through here. We have to seal this up. Uh, do you have a? Do you have wood? He, he's got it all. He's got everything right behind his zombies. He's got it. You do it? No, there's too many zombies. Okay, well. Kim said he's not coming back to the volcano, but he has a new house. Wait, you're letting them through? No, I sealed it. They must have spawned out here. Oh, well, let's get out of here. Let's get back to the stadium. Okay. We got back home feeling very good. Not, hopefully knocking Shadow back a few, a few pegs. I logged out. When I got back online, Robert wanted to meet me outside of the volcano again because he had found another base. So I made my way over. Get down, get down. Robert. I don't, go think first. He's, I don't think he's here right now. Don't kill me, please. I, I'm worried about you killing me. Look, I'm not gonna kill you. I, I don't need hearts, okay? That's just what it is. 
So, oh my God. Here, there is a um, there's a sign here. It said XP farm compromised by me, Robert. Oh. So we know they're working together. So I took the I took the sign and put it right here. Yeah. And I said XP farm safe. Shout out. Oh. I rigged the XP farm by the way. So I was hoping for someone to blow up there. And Steve's room, Steve's house is over here. The only reason I found it is because I went back to Shadows mm -hmm. to see if there's anything else. And when I was leaving, I saw Sneeve leaving at the same time right oh. next to me. And so I saw him and I followed him a bit and then he went on the aircraft carrier. I don't know if he saw me, but I was really far out. And so I was like, okay, well, I'm going to go back. And I remember seeing more lava than usual. So I wanted to, I wanted to dig through and I found his base. Oh my God. Take what you can. Robert! Robert! What? What? Was that your dog? No, that wasn't my dog. That's, that's just evil. I didn't mean to, it was just in the way. Alright, and lastly... These are carrots. After Sneeve understood what we were capable of, and we told him that his base had been destroyed, I offered him a deal. I said that we would no longer attack his base, we would no longer kill his dogs, and we would no longer harm him. In fact, we would guarantee his safe extraction from the city when the helicopter arrives for the small price of telling us the location of Laguno's base. Shadow's base and Kim's base. Although I was lying to him about Kim's to make him think that we were not working with Kim. And he declined. Wow. That's a truthful man right there. He's, he might not be telling the truth. He's just saying shadows. I know. But he's been working with Shadow. I know, that's why I'm catching him in a lie. Because if he lies to me right here, I will accept it and then we kill him. Okay. His, his lie determines his fate at this point. Yes, exactly. He said that he would never sell out his friends, and then later said that he just didn't know the location of those bases, otherwise he would. I said, I'm sorry, Sneev, but you gotta die now. So Robert and I burned the rest. On our way back, we looted the aircraft carrier, and shockingly, there's a, there's a massive stash of grenades, which honestly kind of seemed like a trap. What's up? I found all these chests are loaded with grenades. Mine carts with TNTs. There's so many TNTs as Kim would say. There's like a ton of grenades in here. There's How'd like you get in there? How'd you get in there? Uh, come below. Oh my god, there's so much. Come below deck. This, this this looks like the ship. This doesn't look like oh, you're someone's right. base. But I have a theory. I don't think they're actually grenades. Oh, it says grenades. The, the, I have a real grenade. It's light blue. These are dark. Yeah, for some no, these aren't actually grenades. I'm gonna try one on some zombies. Oh, it killed the zombie. It immediately killed the zombie. Something's fishy about this. I know, but we'll figure it out later. Grab satchel charges too. As soon as we got back, I put all that great stuff right in my secret chest near the base, including my nice fast sword. My beautiful, absolutely amazing sword that makes me move so quickly, which would be very, very useful for the extraction event. Put that right in the chest, walked away, hit it. Uh, then, Robert and I thought, okay, you know what? One more thing. One final thing we we're going to do. We went to the tunnels, made a fake base, filled it with explosives, rigged it to blow, then went to the radio tower and tried to set explosives because we figured someone would try to do a radio transmission before the extraction, uh, but we failed because there's way too many zombies, so uh, we logged out. Good luck, Robert. This was it. 
it was time to extract. Except, I was in an extremely bad spot. I had nothing, and since any death from this point forward was permanent, uh, I needed to be insanely careful. My mission was to rendezvous with Robert and Kim, and hopefully not run into anyone else on the way. Kim, come on. <laughs> thank, thank God it's you. Come on. Come to the factory. Come to the factory. Did I scare you? Yeah, you did. Come to the factory. You, you, you truly scared me big time there. I was scared. I was ready to leave. Oh my goodness. What I, where am I? <laughs> <laughs> now that I was with Kim, I felt a little bit safer. Just as long as Kim wasn't planning on killing me. The thing was, was the zombies were super fast now. And I remember that sword that I put in my secret chest? Yeah, it was time to get that sword. That sword would be insanely valuable right now. However, when I was talking to Robert, Robert told me that somehow someone found not only our tower, but my secret chest as well, and it was emptied. What happened? How, how did someone find that? There was one little chest in the middle of... Okay. Anyways, uh, so that's that's good. No idea who it was, but they now had our stuff, so that's that's great. The one thing about the extraction event, though, is we disabled the use of grenades because it kind of was just anticlimactic, and you, it, it was one shot kill no matter what, no matter how much armor you had. So the grenades were out of it now. So that's I, I, I don't know. So next, my next move was to get to the factory and hopefully get to my ender chest, which would s still be there, not destroyed by someone, and then I could get at least some of my gear, the stuff that made me faster, enough that I could extract. So I have a good plan. <laughs> What's your plan? I, I have gotten on. Uh, I think uh, I think Sneeve and Shadow will trust me now. Oh really? Yeah. I know why. Hmm. I know why. Oh, why? Because they. Uh... Oh no! My golden sword's all the way. Wait, it's in the other. Yeah, it's all the way back at. Tell Robert to bring it. Uh, I think he's already left. You gotta, you gotta, you gotta continue talking. You can just stop right there. Uh, sorry, sorry, sorry. I don't mean to be a cre crazy guy. Um, yeah, sorry. Uh, because they think you killed me. I had some stuff, but not everything. At least I had tear gas, which wasn't banned from the event. And tear gas, oh, oh, so useful. It blinds a man, can't see anything. Remember, Laguna got tear gas. That's exactly what I wanted to do to everyone else. Which, yeah, that, it was good. The only thing now was was that I needed Robert to get here, and uh, the three of us would then head to the zone. We got intel that the helicopter would be arriving in the northeast section of the map. We didn't know the exact location, but we knew that it would be in that general area. Once the helicopter arrived, we had exactly five minutes to get to it, and be either on top of it or in it when the clock striked zero to survive. So it was crucial that we were in the right area so that when the helicopter did land, not, not actually land, uh, we would not miss it and we could get on it and get out. But first, we needed Robert to get here. Right. I need to get all the way back to the stadium. No, that's what I wanted to talk to you about. What? Hold on. Um... My sword is there. I know. Hold on. Um... My, my secret chest was raided that I planted. Like, someone took everything out of it. No, they didn't. Was mine raided? I swear, to, I swear to God. I don't know. I don't know where yours is. Mine was far away, underneath some dirt. Yeah, same. Someone was watching us. Shadow, I told you he had a base nearby. I told you that, like, two days ago. Oh, my God. So after Robert made it, we made our way to the northeast section of the map. We suspected that the helicopter was going to arrive somewhere between the military base and the airport. So we just kind of sat in the middle and thought, all right, we're going to hide in this forest and it's going to, it's going to be at one of these two. It has to be. And then we'll just act accordingly. When we got there, we just sat there and waited. And we were trying our best to stay silent because Lagundo, Shadow, Sneeve, and Ryan could have been anywhere. Kim, do you have any plans on betraying Robert and I? After how how nice we have been to you? <laughs> That's the thing. That's how I work. You guys are the only one who's actually giving me stuff. Even though you're yeah. also taking stuff. But you uh, wait, you still owe stuff. us two hearts. But th that's where I spawned. That's my crash airplane. This where <laughs> I came. <laughs> Did you say, ooh, where am I now? <laughs> <laughs> ooh. Wait a minute, how did you get stuck here? We had a whole day with no zombies. Here, Sean. Yeah. Oh, thank you. Why am I carrying lapis? Any of you throw lapis at me? <laughs> oh my god. 
This guy's. <laughs> Kim, you're still wearing a turtle shell helmet. Don't drop it on my head. Don't drop it on my head. <laughs> Just drop the anvil on my head. <laughs> hey. No, Sean, I don't allow this. <laughs> you tried to do that. You tried to do that to me during Robert's video. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I know. This is different, though. You Break said, "What's stuff. going on?" You said, "What's going on with this bark?" And then I went over to the bark. That's so great. I love it. <laughs> you done this many times, and I freak out every time you do it. <laughs> Everyone's <laughs> doing. Everyone's saying it. <laughs> I want Should Ryan dead. Around. What? You I want Ryan, Ryan dead. dead. Yeah. What is he, what's that man do, done to you? He raided Robert and I. Oh, he did? Yes. <laughs> I missed out on so much. You were that. You, it was your house too up in the, the windmill. If they're wearing enchantments, it should be easy to notice them. Right? Yeah, yeah, maybe we should strip down, guys. Go invisible. No, I'm not stripping down. Yeah, I'm not that. <laughs> You're not going to see me naked. Kim, you've crashed that plane. Yeah, I did. You had your way out. You were in a plane and you crashed I, it. I was worried I'm gonna hit a person, but it was just a zombie, so I flew a bit uh, too far. Oh my god. All right. Oh, the good popping pills. We sat in that forest for a while. Yeah, honestly, I think it was like an hour we sat there for, waiting to hear where this helicopter would show up. And with the way Kim and I were acting, sorry, you act like Looney Tunes characters. I'm surprised no one found us. In fact, you know what? Maybe they did. I'm gonna watch their videos back, and if they see, if they if they go have a segment where they go, like, we heard, we heard uh, Kim going, "What are you doing? You drop envelope." <laughs> I, I I don't know. Okay, I, I don't know. Just when we thought we were gonna be here for another in-game day, we got the message. The helicopter again. We we're just kind of sort of pretending that there'd be a helicopter. And we're just whatever. We'll arrive at the military base shortly. It was go time. It all came down to this. Oh. <gasps> okay. What do we do? We go? We, have to go we gotta go through the tunnel. Let's go through the trees. Come here, come here, come here, come here. Don't go into the... the um, don't go into the... Can you jump in water? Come here, come here, come here. We I gotta get out of here alive. Make sure Rob makes it. If you're going to kill yourself, uh, Sean, I'm only yeah. here to make sure Rob uh, makes it then. Why, you owe this man your life? <laughs> he, he did give me two golden apples, so... What? In oh. front of it. I thought it's under tunnel. No, no, it's the f it's a helicopter parked in the front right there. I don't think we should go to the tunnel. I think we should stay here. How do you know that? Like, I, what makes you think that is it? Because I just read the chat. Okay, then you want to go. St st the helicopter has there. arrived in front of the military base. You oh. ten minutes to arrive. Yeah. Oh yeah, it's a helicopter. I'm right here. Shh. Yeah, you shh. You're so loud. No, you so loud. Shh. <laughs> Shh. What's Robert doing? Where is he? He's by the wall. Oh my god, my heart is pounding. <laughs> this reminds me of the Fortnite Battle Pass. <laughs> what are you talking about? <laughs> what the? No, it's okay. Okay, look at Robert. But I swear I thought I saw a name tag behind us. Oh, I'm sorry. You might have. They might be crouching. Oh, there's zombies. Look, they're, they're climbing up the hill. They're going up the hill. Yes, that was right. They are behind you. Oh, they're shooting. They're all in the mountains. They're on the mountains. Get Kim. Where are they? Oh, yeah, they're there. Don't let them on the helicopter. Where's Kim? I don't know. To the helicopter, helicopter! Let's go, let's go! They're on the building. Let's go, I'm in the helicopter, let's go! Take off! How do we take off? I don't know, just sit in the helicopter, guard it! Don't let them in it! Ah. They're gonna keep shooting at us. Then this is the time. What is the time? I'm gonna take myself out. 
boys. We need to get out of the city alive. I didn't think it's so bad. No, 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 no. I'm out. Oh. You're good, Jeff. You're good. Get on the helicopter. Okay. No. Okay. I'm one dead man. So uh, that's where the video ends in true apocalypse fashion. Which just cut to black. That's it. Okay. No, I'm, I'm kidding. After I died, I just I I spectated. Or I was I was I was hoping for Robert and Kim to enact revenge. Let me aboard, don't kill me. Just let me aboard the plane. <laughs> Jim, what? He moved. He moved. Where'd he go? Where'd he go? Rob's dead. Rob's dead. Rob's dead. Go from a high place. You betrayed oh. us. You're with Oh no, We're Kim. Not, I'm Kim. Not I swear. <laughs> I heard you. <laughs> Kim, no! What can I do? I've been playing both sides! Oh my gosh. These husks. Get to the uh, Come on, Jim! Seconds, 90 seconds! Kim's in the- Kim's in the- th in this thing. There's zombies! No, this is not it. Get on it, Kim! No, Kim! Kim, Kim. Kim no! Oh, no, Kim died! Oh, oh did he Yes! Die? We got him! <laughs> Ah, uh, guys! So Not Kim, Robert, or I made it out alive. Laguno, Shadow, Sneeve, and Ryan did. Laguno just barely made it. I mean, look at this. This man should have been eaten by the horde. Oh, and for as as for who was lying to me, both of them were. Robert had stolen my stuff from my chest and wanted to see what my reaction would be because he suspected that it was me who was leaking the inform, telling everyone else where our base was, and so that if he stole my stuff. He would, and I would react weird, he would know that it's me. But no, I wasn't leaking any information, Robert. I didn't tell anyone anything, so my sword would have been extremely useful for the extraction event, Robert. And it was Kim who was playing both sides. Kim was the one who was telling the other side where our stuff was. When I find out, when I watch Kim's video, I'm going to lose it when I watch these clips of him. I can't believe this. Anyways, that's it. I didn't survive the simulation, but you know what I should have? And next time I'll tell you what we're doing next. You ever see that show, Game of Thrones? That's all I'll say.